problem. Hello and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name is David Turner. Right, okay, we're going to have to start. <laughs> we're going to reset for people watching on YouTube. It, we've been right, for, right. Okay, we'll just say this for the YouTube viewers. We'll cut this from the pod. Yeah. Um, we've been pushing it closer and closer <laughs> to the music ending every single week, and this is the first time we've actually gone over. It was before better. it's been like a second out. <laughs> Because it was better when we used to not be able to talk during the intro bit because everyone would have heard it, so we'd all just be exactly. quiet. Whereas now it's like, yeah, you can chat for 10 seconds. Yeah, and then, yeah. And and then J- keeps... James is like, no, listen, right? <laughs> Are you ready? All right, everyone, everyone go quiet. This is the edit point. Hello, and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner, and I'm here with Sean Bell. Hello. Returning this week... Finally, it's James Farley. <laughs> Hello, David. And uh, Matt, you're all right, mate. How you doing? I'm back. You are back. You are back. Two of you back. It's like getting the old team back together. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. um, Patreon producers this month. They are Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chap, Simon Nelson, Moomin Biscuit, Trans Rights of Human Rights, Dave Ernsberger, Colin Brown, Gazman, Rocketman76. Grey Dragon Claw, Smooth Monkey, Colin Smith, Richard Sawyer, John Tempelli, Jackie Sniper, Gordon Garrow, Safe As Records, Sam Higton, Tom S, Ryan Cobain, Josh Hunt, Yul McCule, Stan, and Philip with an F. A new full Nels member there, Ooh, Philip with an F. F. Welcome to the crew. You uh, join the ranks of Stan this month for joining uh, the Full Nels crew. Thank you so I don't much. Even for call it the ranks of Stan. Stan's uh, new. Oh, is that what I called it? The ranks yeah, of Stan. Said... <laughs> well, you know, you know, we've um, needed a new name. That, I was floating mm. that one. Yeah, ranks <laughs> of Stan. I'd like to announce the ranks of Stan for yeah. this week. Um, no, we appreciate supporting the show. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash TCGS if you'd like to join the Full Nels crew or. Pick one of the other levels. There's a there's a bonus podcast. We're doing our video thing this week. Are we ready to announce what that is? Yes. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a talk over of an old old um, TV show, isn't it? That's yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where we thrive. That is where we. That's where. It that's was, our I'm not, I, obviously, you sent us the link and I sort of watched a couple of seconds. Was like, yeah, perfect. Yeah, you got. got I don't want to yeah, start skimming some of the through. stuff I that I've it. seen. I mean, look forward to that. That's yeah. coming this week. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash TCGS feedback. Matt, have you got any notes from last week's show? Seeing as you weren't here, I have actually. Um, one thing I only finished listening to it today. Uh, the show. I thought I had finished. Rude. Turns out but I is hadn't. that bitterness? Was that jealousy? Mm, yeah, because I kept. I'm sick of always like, oh, what such a great show that was. Brilliant. He's been <laughs> so good. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, he is good though. And it he, was good. Yeah. Good. It was good. It is good actually. Yeah. So yeah, I thought I was finished, <laughs> and I listened to other things. And I was like, oh shit, hang on, I've still got like 55 minutes left. This baby, but I listened to it. It was good. Um, only a bit of feedback. God, and not it not finished was, yet. Um, Fucking hell. Unfortunately, it was about Ian. Um, so oh, sorry, dear. Ian. Uh oh. But I've, I'm afraid I've got to say the Quest 3 isn't lighter than Quest 2. It's actually heavier than, than Quest 2. Well, it feels mm. different because the centre of gravity is, is different. So it feels a bit nicer to wear on the head than Quest 2, but actually it's technically, technically heavier. When, when he said that, I did think, like, I'm pretty sure Matt said it's the should same. Have, uh, but, uh, that's, the, uh, that's really the unfortunate. Celeb. Really so, um, unfortunate. Yeah. It really is. It's it's a shame. I mean, apart from that, it kind of spoiled the episode for me, really, and it's kind of embarrassing. But yeah. can we retract apart from that, you three did really well. But, um, okay. Shame, really. <laughs> I, I, I feel bad for him, but <laughs> you can't make these kind of mistakes at this level. You can't make those mistakes. So uh, no, because we bad. never do. I don't no, know if anyone's noticed. There's don't. not a single mistake on this show. Ever. Literally, like... a whole segment of the show correcting fuck ups we've made the week before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Feedback to, speak, to fuck ups. Speak, speaking of fuck ups from the week before, uh, a bit of a bit of a, uh, a panicked edit last week wasn't it mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a bit of a panic do you want to explain what let's explain from your side first sean and then um, let's get james's point of view oh, for <laughs> <fuck's sake. laughs> so, uh, sat down to do the edit i'd sort of blocked out a bit of my work day to do it um <laughs> yeah i was like right brilliant download all the files work, though, put, you'd blocked it out <laughs> put them into put them into reaper um and yeah notice there's something slightly odd about james's audio in that there was no audio in it it was a two <laughs> two and a half hour silent, silent audio very quiet last week um 
So I asked <laughs> what had happened, and you know, not James's fault. He was busy with work stuff, and I was just like, "Look, I kind of I need to do it now. Like, if I'm going to do the edit, I'll just have to grab like the audio from the stream." And then Dave was like, "Look, if it's you know, if it's, if it's an issue, then I'll I'll do it." Um, and then James, do you want to talk about what happened next? <laughs> yeah. So, what, so could I'm what I want to know is. James, you're you were at work, right, when we discovered that you'd yes, made a mistake yeah. with your export, right? What? Because I know what you're like. You have a meltdown when something goes wrong and it's your fault. It's so true. Yeah. You'll see. You see the text come through on your phone. Because here's what was really weird: the text was sent, and it took you a good forty-five minutes to <laughs> say anything. Mm. So what was going on your end? Well, the trouble was, was I was I was aware that I'd received messages. And, it, and I was aware that I was involved in some way, but I was also your in... watch. Yeah, and people were going, "Why do you keep looking at your watch?" Yeah, but then I was in a meeting. But then I was in a meeting. Being mentioned, <laughs> I was in a meeting, yeah. so I couldn't really just get out my phone and just start texting back what was going on because I was too. Oh, that's funny. Doing you, the whole you, thing. So when you're when you're working, you can't just get your, out your phone and do something else. That is you can't do that, isn't it? Because that's funny because you did that last week. While you were working, so when was that? What, what did bit, I do? Bit strange. When you were playing coffee golf during the pod. Yeah. Well, it was a bit, bit of a strange. T- to your benefit, strange. that was. I mean, it worked out quite well for you all, but uh, you know, never mind. For, for us all. <laughs> no, it did. Yeah. It did because I did terribly. It was. It was yeah, not very you good. finished last, so you got zero points in the league anyway. I, I Didn't thought, make any I, difference. <laughs> I thought where James was going with that was he was going to justify it. He's like, yeah, but it was a good bit on the show, wasn't it? So it was like, <laughs> <laughs> that, wasn't even good <laughs> that wasn't the route he took, Sean, no. Um, sorry, go on. So you're sitting there. You're sitting so I'm sitting the there stuff. sweating while this meeting's going on, just thinking I need to go and deal with this. And I was just thinking, <laughs> I've, you know, I've got, I've definitely got the audio. Like I've, I keep it obviously every, every week. And I was like, I don't, I think I know what might have happened here because I do remember it looking weird. Like when I did the x <laughs> like, like a flat lightly. line. <laughs> wasn't that? It wasn't right. a flat line. It was That's just right, a, James. Can, it was can, a flat line. It wasn't, yeah. So can we talk about the conversation we had <laughs> before it went to the group? I mean, you might, you oh, might, oh, you could just read whoa. it if you want. Because it was. I uh, didn't know this. I got oh, read brilliant. it out. What's the so conversation? James told me first <laughs> what had happened. <gasps> oh, James. Right. Of course I did. What? A... And I no, well, I, I mean, it, I don't know how you'll feel about how this makes James look by the end, but <laughs> I, I said, <laughs> look, if you don't mention it, I won't either, right? Because <laughs> like, let's let's just you know. Wait, so want... when was this? Was this was after you posted that so there this was, was an after issue. I brought it up in the group, but it was before right. James had told you what he'd done. Okay. Um, mm. So yeah, so I just so said, you look, gave I, him a helping hand. You I gave, put your him, hand I gave him an out, and he yeah. didn't take it. He just went into the group and was like, "Yep, yeah, <laughs> fucked it." Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, I respect that. I, I respect mean, the that. reason the reason for that was because it was bound to come out anyway somehow yeah. because it always does. So it's just easier to just be upfront with. <laughs> To be fair, if you tried the sort of oh, I don't know, it must have been an export error. We'd have been. <laughs> Was it? Was Come it, on, it, you'd be, I just if I had said that, David had been sitting there like just doing the whole head moving around, like just like yeah, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm sure what? it really was. Yeah, head, yeah. What's you know. the head moving around? Well, what's you know, that? whenever I say anything, you always well, it's, we're on video, aren't we? So I can't do it because people who are listening will get annoyed. But you always do this thing, which is uh, you know, I don't know what that. Well, I don't know to, what to, dem- to, to demonstrate. Yeah, to demonstrate your uh, your disbelief, you know, in, in um, what's happened. Right. Okay. So we, I have got punishment for you. Because of um, because of the, the well, I had to. Edit, I, it ended up with me editing because Sean had missed mm. his window to edit mm. the show, so I had to do it after I'd uh, taken the kids training and got home, ruined my evening. Had and to edit it so, so quick that Apple, the Apple the podcast store wouldn't even accept the file. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I like the fact that you uh, everyone was trying to blame me for that. What, what frequency did you have it? At? Oh, come <laughs> well, on. To be fair, we haven't had a, It was weird. It, it was wasn't. Weird, right. Okay. So I wasn't going to bring this up, um, and we received a tweet this week um, that said, "Who's oh, owning on. up to this?" Then, and the timestamp. If you want to go and back and listen to it yourself, I yeah, mean, it's hard to actually just play out over the speaker. Uh, at one forty-six. 
So one hour, 46 minutes. If you play last week's pod from then, you will hear a fart in the background. A really Might not forceful... Be. Could could possibly really? could have possibly have been a chair. You know, it could have been so like a I chair was, moving around or something. Definitely def go back yeah, and listen to it. It's James. definitely not a chair. <laughs> no, it could it could possibly have been Case could possibly have been something else, you know. So I'm it's... sitting there and I'm thinking, do I retweet this? Do I make a thing of this? Oh no. Ian is a guest on the show and he'd said up front that he'd eaten bean soup or whatever it was he was <laughs> eating. And I thought, oh, uh -oh it's definitely gonna be him. Just before we started uh, recording this week. Um, I checked the audio and was absolutely stunned, not really surprised, to see that it was James <laughs> letting one rip in the middle of the well, pod. I, and I it, said, what it was great? The what was great? No, James, yeah. you said that before we started recording. Then I sent you the audio and you went, yeah, no, that doesn't sound like a chair. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair it enough. Well, it doesn't sound like one, but it could be one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what, what, what chair sounds like that? Well, you do. You sometimes leather chairs, you know, as you move around, they, they make Are noises. Are you in a leather chair? <laughs> It's faux leather, but it's... <laughs> I also love the fact that it sounds like he just punches his mic randomly throughout the show oh. as well. It's the weirdest sound. Yeah, I James, get all that. this is your punishment, mate. I had to stay up late on, what was it, Tuesday night or whatever it was, editing the pod. So this is the this is my how I'm getting you back. Are you all right? Can we all move on? Go on. Right, try and you just watch that stomach of yours before we, uh, <laughs> before we carry on with the recording. All right, mate. It's not, yep, go on, move on. <laughs> Let's not. get to the feedback from it's the rest of the listeners. <laughs> Let's get the feedback. Uh, Matt Murray. Yeah, um, proper fucking magnetic egg has messaged. Okay. Feedback, I didn't it's appreciate the recurring guests playing games on his phone during the show. So the other members of the team keep up the good work. <laughs> James? Uh, well, um, yeah, I, mean, I was bored. So, you know. Oh hell. my god. I'm sorry. Fucking hell, James. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It is that is what that was mad. I was actually quite angry about that. I don't know why you would do that during the show. Okay. Well, no, because right. I was trying because I thought I was going to lose my streak, which I did anyway. And so I just thought, well, I might as well just continue, you know, because it was just after 12. Yeah, but we're, you were recording. I know. But, but you could have, but if, if you were worried about losing your streak, you could have just said, like, guys, I am so sorry. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna lose my streak if I don't do this. Do you mind if I just for the next five minutes of the show I'm just gonna do my? Do we find? Did just, I, mean, just I didn't think did it. I didn't think you'd notice. You yeah. Do we find him? You're on. Yeah, I think we have to find him now. Yeah. Do we yeah, find him? Be on the joke. Yeah, it is a little bit, isn't it? Four hundred pounds that game cost you. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> you won't make that mistake, well done, will you? Harsh but fair. You have officially been fined. Next uh, bit of feedback. Yeah, be we split that evenly James. between the rest of us. Is it going to? Well, how much is that in euros? Oh my god. <laughs> go on. It's going, to, it's going to charity. There you go. Oh, Fucking what? ain't. Because no, <laughs> <it's laughs> really he lives, James. We need the money. <laughs> yeah, we're the charity, Adam. Mate. Hello, chaps. A few pounds, a few pods behind on this, but I thought I'd weigh in on the whole should the pod be live on Twitch debate. I ditched Spotify a few months ago and got YouTube Premium instead. So this now acts as my main podcast player. This also means I get the unedited version of the pod, which is fucking brilliant. Hearing all the parts that shouldn't be in the episode draws the curtain back. I especially enjoy the conversations that take place when someone goes for a piss. <laughs> I also want I to say... help him. So Sorry, James has just whacked his microphone. Again. What is wrong with you, James? <laughs> Have you given that up? Was... Genuinely... No, no, Have that you was given genuinely... up, mate? Have you given that up? Was... No, no, that was genuinely a mistake. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Is it like you're trying it to, really you know, like, like during the Bake Off, where they start swearing into the microphone so they can't use certain bits of <laughs> yeah. audio? Is that what you're doing? Gabby Wabsy said he's covering up a fart. Yeah, definitely. No, that's what really he does every week when he hits it 40 times. I'm really sorry. I don't know where that happened. Okay. It's all right, mate. Go on, then. What was this week? Week? Um, also, just want to say, James, I hope learning the German language is going well. I lived there for three years, and it's a cunt of a language to learn. <laughs> Threw oh, the C word in there to see who was editing the pod this week. Also, you are right. Okay, James, is this next word, is it a swear word or what? It is a swear word, yes. Oh, come well, on, you okay, know well, what can you, can you say it at least, or is it really bad? It's just as Deutsche Bahn is scheiße. Means it's shit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry uh, about language, everyone. Yeah. 
James's number one fan. You fuckers. I read the notes before <laughs> listening to last week's episode and the note James leaving the pod almost made me throw my phone out of the bus window. Uh, was that in the notes last week? Yeah, Matt? I liked uh, well, I liked Why did you put that on there? Because I think that was the <laughs> week before it. last where it's like James leaving the pod, James playing games on... Is like all the note, all that the also bit was all about James. <laughs> James had no idea this was. A I've thing got no I've idea this is going but on. Do you not this read is... show notes or any 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 podcast ever, James? Not or just not really. Don't you? No. I read them. See who's on the show, etc. Not ours because I write them. One hundred dozen fractured soup mugs. Obviously, the way to settle Dave's criticisms of James is for Dave to save his coffee golf on Monday and then to do the news and the golf at the same time. Mostly, I just want to hear Dave do the news. I thought the time. I thought the time is down to just. Dave and Sean, he'll be forced to do the feedback or the socials or something, but no, he just made Sean do everything. Come on, Dave, lead by example. Show these wastrels how it's done. Wastrels? Why am I a wastrel? Because I always pick up the fucking slack. Why am I a wastrel? Why, 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 yeah, and why, 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 I do the slow socials down. every time slow Matt's not on. <laughs> slow, barely. Slow, barely. Well, <laughs> slow down a bit. Right, listen. I love how people have it in their head how this relationship works between the four of us, and it's yeah. just how wildly off it is. I, on that, do you remember what happened when we were doing that two man show, Sean? I said, yeah. Oh, do you want me to do the news? And you were like, No, I'm actually, I, know, I, I kind of want to do it. And it would be, yeah. uh, you know, you do the hosting, yeah. and then I'll do the news, and the, and the, uh, you know, and I went, Are you sure? Like, are you sure you don't want me to? Yeah, no, I'm fine. That was the conversation. Well, but well, in their said, head, was, yeah, no, I'll do it because I want to moan about it in like three weeks, and then we're good. <laughs> That's content. In their <laughs> head, I've gone, Sean, it's just me and you. Get the news done. Get the feedback done. <laughs> We're on my <laughs> fucking desk. Monday morning. Yeah. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> Let's just throw my phone against a brick wall. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> get, get me another phone. <laughs> I can't hear you, Dave. Your phone's been thrown against the wall. We got cut off. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> Let's get to the next bit of... Yeah, uh, the Pond Skater. Feedback. Some feedback. Um, on last week's show, Pod 373, Good Hue and the Flume, the hosts <laughs> slash guests were discussing different variations of the name to the playground game. Who says Good game. Hue? Good Hue. What do yeah, I say? Is it Duncan? It's Good Hue, isn't it? But it's Duncan the way Goody, you went. Yeah. Good it's Hue good in, hue. The, in the flume. <laughs> like, it was two separate words. <laughs> so it's, it's a bloody good hue. Um, <laughs> and there have been some... Yeah, okay, no, it's more. Let's move on from that. Right, okay, um... <laughs> Of the net, yeah, variations of the name given to the playground game of tag. Uh, Dave confidently claimed that none of these would be used anymore as it's just the cheese touch and that this comes from the TV show Bluey. However, this version of the game originates from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series of books, films, where a boy touches a mouldy piece of cheese that's been festering on an outdoor basketball court. He's then ostracized by his fellow pupils until he passes on the cheese touch by touching someone else thus transferring the curse to a new victim. The cycle continues indefinitely. I can find no reference to this in Bluey. It's right, you know. Except to you, do is absolutely right. I, yeah. I, um, I've been corrected on this about 14 times. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I'm like, we, we were, you know, when we went to Butlins this year, the kids were playing t Cheese Touch. I said, where are they getting Cheese Touch from? I thought, ah, it's from Bluey. And like Harry was like, no, it's not from Bluey. It's from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, right. Okay, I'll remember that then. It's from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> like a week later, they're playing Touch, you know, they call it Cheese Touch, like from Bluey. <laughs> Dad, what is the matter with you? <laughs> and it, it happened again. Like since this bit of feedback come in, I um, we were up the school on Friday or whenever it was, and um, uh, the kids were playing, they were going, Cheese Touch, Cheese Touch. And I went, uh, from Bluey. And Joe was, like, Joe was like, no, you know it's not. Why do you keep thinking it's from Bluey? <laughs> so, no, you're absolutely right to correct me. It's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Apparently, every kid reads this stuff now. Isn't it? Okay. Do you remember the story where James, what was it? When you tried to get Diary of a Wimpy Kid for Asher, the new book, mm -hmm. and you didn't realise that it was just a notepad. <laughs> so when it <laughs> arrived, it was a Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but it was yep. just... Opened it up and it was blank page. It was yeah. <laughs> then, then I just said to you, can write your own diary. Your own diary. Story. You're the wimpy kid. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Maybe you could be the wimpy yeah. kid. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Aspirational figure the wimpy kid is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna end with Raffi. Hey guys, a bit of feedback after the. Uh, Just Stop Oil news story at EGX last week. I was at the event and security was sort of non-existent. 
basically you went through uh once to security while picking up your ticket but after that you were free to leave and come back with any assortment of items in your bag even across multiple days it was pretty odd regarding the event it was sort of bare i treated it like a social event to meet up with some friends but i only basically played two games star trucker basically euro truck in space but you have to get out to repair it i think sean would love this yeah, the, Yakuza sequel, uh, the Yakuza sequel, The Man Who Erased His Name. Unfortunately, I had a bit of an embarrassing time with this as I had a 15-minute time to play the game and you spawn on, a, uh, on an uh, entertainment district a bit like Las Vegas. I rushed to the first icon on the map, which was a gamepad, thinking it would be some kind of arcade machine. I quickly <laughs> skipped the text to get as much out of the 15 minutes as I had with the game. Turns out in my rush, I'd accidentally selected the Hostess minigame. <laughs> I don't know when Yakuza started putting in live-action videos of ladies wearing low-cut tops in the series. I'm sure James will provide context and info. <laughs> but imagine my embarrassment having to play it in a room full of strangers and not being able to skip anything. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what dialogue my character was selecting as I was bashing buttons. Yeah, it says buttons to progress quickly. But I can't have chosen the right option as it ended with a live action video of the lady looking disappointed at me as if I just, this is a poignant, as if I just let rip the biggest fart and was sitting <laughs> buttocks exposed on a new free piece suite. The speed at which my character dashed into his minigame probably made me look like the biggest perv of EGX. <laughs> and while the minigame lasted around 10 minutes, it felt like an eternity to me. I eventually left, had a couple of goes on Blackjack and found a Colosseum to fight. I landed a few punches and then it paused the game. But thank you for playing on the screen. Still plan to go to next year's EGX, but probably, probably more to socialise and not play dating minigames. Uh, bonus question what's the most embarrassing you've ever been playing a video game oh god oh, <laughs> oh god well right, okay well we will answer that even though that's a question but james i'll never forget when um i first saw this stuff in yakuza james went yeah but it's of the time period david it's it it's was of the time was, period was, yeah, but, yeah, but then they did the, the current day versions <laughs> of yakuza all of that stuff was still in it it's like, all yeah, still there no, it's like you go to that like to that area and it's all like that still it doesn't mean I... it needs to be in the game <laughs> the, 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 the they're cabaret, recreating it isn't it the cabaret club management stuff in yakuza zero is fucking class yeah. i i got absolutely hooked i could have finished that game in half the time if it wasn't for that mini game yeah, yeah. i loved it it's grimy um, as fuck but i love that it's so good <laughs> <laughs> What's the most embarrassed I've ever been in playing a video game was when I was living in Milton Keynes and I was playing um, Fahrenheit and yeah, uh, I, guess, right? I, I was in the front room and my mate come in and said, are you really watching porn? And it wasn't. <laughs> it was me on the video game. It was a sex scene from that. And he went, well, what, what is this about? And I went, she's, she's having sex with a dead man. It's, <laughs> I don't, I've got no... There was that. Yeah, there, there was that. that was why the why didn't you have any trousers on? Me? Because I was wanking, yeah, yeah. Matt. You were, you, were, you, were, you were joking. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, um, that's not funny. Go on, sorry. I was playing GTA 4. I was still... So it was when I was, I was at university, <laughs> but I'd come home for okay, summer. Okay, end story oh, yeah. there. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. I've come home yet. Yeah. <laughs> it goes on. Okay. So yeah, so I was living back at my mum's for the summer, and and not, you know, obviously there's loads of stuff in GTA 4 that you probably don't want to see your child Oh, don't worry. It's, I'm looking, I can see Dave's got his head in his hands. It's not the worst. No, I'm just, thing. we're just, I'm listening to us as thinking, why are we going to grow up? Like, <laughs> honestly, the fucking yeah. jokes we've made over the past anyway, like five minutes. Geez. I mean, it's, it's, got worse, to walk it's got worse in. since Matt's been back, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Better believe it, baby. <laughs> Mum just happened to walk in as I was walking into a strip club, and it was specifically because there was a song playing that she really liked, and she's like, oh, I love this. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's part of a mission. I haven't just I haven't just chosen to do this, um, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Part of a mission, mom. Yep. Uh, Matt. So no, it's probably going to start shooting soon. It, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. When I'm probably, I'm probably playing any games because they're all embarrassing, aren't they? Ooh. Oh, dear. An attack uh, on ooh. our culture. Oh. Wasn't it when you, was it, on, wasn't it when you played out, Mario in front of all of us, <laughs> and and it yeah, was clear then, yeah, that you'd never played a was. Mario game before? <laughs> We were well, like, I everyone was looking at each other, just going, "Matt, have you, Matt, have you, have you played a Mario game before?" <laughs> well, I think at that point, I'd only played Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, like, and that was was it year four in the school, whatever it was. <laughs> um, so no, I haven't played many two Ds. Uh, so fuck you. Uh, James, that's, that's, uh, James, James Matt, you that's must just have... a genre. It's just two D games. I just play many two D games a bit, you know. <laughs> 
Yeah, I hate retro games. Why would you, James, why would you, must you, have... you know, deprive yourself of that extra D? Exactly. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's not an episode title. Fucking hell, let's move the on extra to James. D. James, James, what's the most embarrassing you've ever been playing a video game? I bet there's loads of examples. Um, I think probably when I was like first dating Chen and then I was like, Trying to convince her that Dead or Alive Four was 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 a really good game, and that it was all about the there, James. and it was all about the fight mechanics. <laughs> and that kind of thing. It's actually more like a strategy game. Really. It was, yeah. It was it was very deep. It had a very deep combat system. Mm-hmm. You know, was the thing. Yeah, sure. All right, that's it for your feedback, and uh, I want to get onto the news this week, James. What's been happening in the world of video games? Well. We've had all of these sort of bad news with stuff and unions are being formed. Well, that's not bad news, but, you know, lots of unions being formed and things like that. But it's okay <laughs> Sorry, because... I thought you went really strict. <laughs> yeah. It's just completely not. We've had all this bad news about no, workers all coming news, together for their rights. Standing up for their rights. Yeah. Yeah. Workers' oh, rights. That's actually <laughs> sick. <laughs> Go on. So, okay, so Doug Bowser has been talking about um, about Nintendo and what's been going on there and yeah. uh, why, there, why there aren't unions at Nintendo. And he said that this is because the employees are just too satisfied uh, with everything. So this is what he said. He says, you only have to look at our retention numbers, which are very, very high within the industry, and our obviously low turnover rate as a result. Our focus has always been on creating a culture that's inclusive, has a work-life balance, and is focused on our singular mission of bringing smiles to faces. Everyone has the right to form a union, and certainly in the future, wherever it takes us, we'll respect that. Um, so yeah, so he was he was saying it's all great. There's there's no need for unions at Nintendo. Although he doesn't mention about the con- the contractors and uh, what what happened with those. I mean, it was into 2022. Yeah. IGN did a report saying how a lot of contractors that work for Nintendo aren't treated very well. Just and... say yeah, it's all very well. Bowser saying this about people who definitely you know actually work for Nintendo, but mm. yeah, not not the contractors who are kept at arm's right, Yeah, so the co- yeah the contract. Purpose, what do you but... think? I... I don't know what to think about this because, I mean, he's right as far as I'm aware and from people that um, have spoken about working for Nintendo, there is a low turnover of staff. Mm -hmm. That is a good indication that actually um, members of staff are looked after or Mm -hmm. at least Mm -hmm. satisfied with their employment. Um, But also, I just don't like the idea of like this coming from the head of that organization yeah. do you know what i mean like yeah. that it's, it's not for him to say yeah. is it no but then it's... i suppose he was just answering a question in an interview yeah, so yes. it's not yeah. really anything um that i can really sort of say oh no you shouldn't be saying this because he was literally just answering a question so i don't know it's a strange one yeah i'm sure contractors have been let go and um supposedly um uh treated poorly uh but it seems like they're looking after their staff. But am I being an idiot just believing what Bowser says about this? <laughs> it's um, yeah, it's a tough one. I don't know what to make of uh, a news story like this. I mean, we'll we'll know if Nintendo staff do start trying to unionize, and then they mm. try to stop them from doing it, and then we'll have a better idea of of you know where where things are. But yeah, at the moment, it's very difficult to know really what's going on inside because we don't really hear very much. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think unions probably will start at some point, unless, as you say, James, like there's actual kind of pushback from mm-hmm. from from senior members of uh, management over there. But um, I mean, like, Doug Bowles is not going to know what it's like on, on the ground floor. These, you know, he's not going to know what it's actually like on so, the ground floor. Well, on, he's not going to know what it's like with the actual workers, whoever they're. You know, he's just not mm. going to know, is he? So he's just company, just towing the company line without knowing anything. Yeah, either. yeah, yeah. It's it's strange, isn't it? It's tough. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to react to this news story mm-hmm. i suppose i suppose sometimes it's just nothing i don't need to react to it i suppose that's a possibility so maybe i should do that <laughs> should get to the next news story you could do a youtube channel like that dave you know really I, i'm not going to react to that yeah, no, dave, <laughs> oh no god <laughs> you know i watch like some of these like the, the, the people uh the video game youtubers or whatever and i just go is there anything where they just go actually I'm not on either side. <laughs> is there, is there I've got, a, is I've got there nothing to say here. To you know, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't really got any comment. No, it's always shouting. Just stop shouting. It's mm. getting on my nerves. Oh, man, they shouldn't be doing it. Shut up. Just let us all just get on with our lives. <laughs> Sorry, go on. 
Okay, uh, next story is that um, Xbox has said not to expect surprise Activision Blizzard Game Pass drops this year. Um, so the reason no for this... No one was Xbox. No is... one yeah, fucking no one was. was. Yeah, no. well, they, they said one of the reasons for this is before the Bethesda deal, they'd had quite a lot of time to get like groundwork done for getting the games on Game Pass. Whereas with this, they weren't sure if the Activision thing was even going to come off because of all the regulatory stuff. Mm. So because of that, they it's going to take longer because of that. Uh, so they this is the quote. Um, they said, I know there'll be... This is uh, Phil Spencer. I know there'll be some disappointment about that. This acquisition is definitely long-term. So the fact that we're not hitting day one with a bunch of games dropping into Game Pass is a little bit of a downer. But I'm very excited about the future. And I just want to be stroke your people that that's where we are. So there you go. No one's All expecting right. it. Microsoft, you take, you take. I mean, we're still waiting for the games you announced fifteen years ago, <laughs> or whatever it was. Like, yeah, not really expecting um, you to drop a bunch of Activision surprises on us. I'd love it if they were like, guys, Destiny One. Yeah, go <laughs> Game Pass. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah. But also, that's exactly the sort of thing they would say if they were going to hide a surprise. So I like but what well, you're saying, They've officially Phil. said, haven't they? Because there's this thing on Wednesday, it. which is it's only on at 6 p.m., so I don't think we're going to be able to stream it. But yeah, there's a, a partner showcase. Um, but that says oh, like, not there partner, will not though, be any they? Activision Blizzard stuff on this, so don't ask. Yeah, because they're not a partner, are they? It, it's, yeah. I don't know, man. I, my, I don't think my expectation for Xbox has been this low before. <laughs> Mm. Like it's just like, what is it? It's on Wednesday, is it? What is it? Just gonna be, oh, who cares? Well, oh, what's that? You're not gonna put Activision stuff? Yeah, we kind of know. We're not. <laughs> well, again, you know what, what, I mean? what, what surprises do you, do you expect from Activision's catalog anyway? Like, <laughs> that's the thing. I was I was having a look at like what there what, is what, there. You know, or every Guitar Hero out, yeah. but you have to put on the pad. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't that be? I that. would like to play Guitar Hero again, though. To be fair. Yeah, but do you want all that shit in your house again? Well, just one guitar, I'd do. Wouldn't you just like to give it a go again? I would love to... to play it again. Honestly, I'd yeah. love to do that. If you but... could buy... Right, okay, here's a question, Sean. Hmm. All the Guitar Heroes hit Game Pass and yeah. Microsoft release a guitar controller for 20 quid. You wouldn't buy that? Oh, 20 quid, I'd consider it, yeah. Yeah, 100 buy 20 that. quid. No. <laughs> 500 pounds. <laughs> 1,000 pounds. <laughs> Two and a half. No. Oh, yeah, I'd like to. Because I played it pounds. in the arcade. I, I played a, it in the it arcade Sally's a couple of months skin. ago. No. You know the, the arcade version of it. I yeah. played that a couple of months ago, and I was like, mm. "Oh shit, I could, I could get into this again." The They're problem with the arcade such... ones is even the the well maintained ones always feel a bit busted compared to yep. the home ones, don't they? Yep. The strap the strap is all curled up and feels like you're yeah, hanging yeah, yeah. a wire around your neck, yeah. and the, the the actual guitar is about four times heavier because <laughs> <laughs> it's like made to last. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah. But I'd I'd play Guitar Hero again. Yeah. I'll tell uh, you that. Again, I've mentioned this, but as someone who plays rock band every every month at work, it's still incredible. The oh, game has yeah, not yeah, right. diminished at all. I don't think I wouldn't want all the stuff in my house, but to play once a month, mm. still fucking amazing. And unbelievably, uh, yeah. I think I've said this before. They're still releasing DLC every single week, which That's still right, blows yeah, my mind. You're saying, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, every week. So there must okay. still be a fair sized audience for it. It's probably just us at work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just buying the four tracks every week. That's it. <laughs> so anyway, story. speaking about bringing back Activision franchises and classics and stuff. Mm. Phil Spencer's also been talking about that. Uh, he's, he said here, um, he was talking to official Xbox podcasts and he said, I want to make sure that when we're going back and visiting something, we do it with our complete ability. A motivated team that wants to go to work on something and make a difference, not just create something for financial gain or create something for a PR announcement, but not deliver on the final product. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the teams and find out what they're passionate about. And he says, I think... <laughs> Then he says, I think we've done an okay job at Xbox. I don't think we've done an A-plus job of looking at our franchises and revisiting them. It's always a trade-off between uh, what do you do that's new versus going back and doing something. I do think that with Game Pass we have the ability to maybe pick a couple of franchises every year and almost do a revisited. I just made up that term. It's not a brand. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, All of that kind of sounds like a boast. Just... Does Phil sound crestfallen to you? Like compared to what he used to be? He used he's to be like, God, up Microsoft all the, uh... is the greatest time in our history yeah. at Xbox. Mm -hmm. Now he's kind of like, I don't know really where, what we're going to do. Okay we've, just, 
spent 60 bill and we don't really know what for yet. Just <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's aware enough of the fact that he can't just keep coming out and just like saying, this yeah. is the best year ever for Xbox and stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah, not, it's kind of, we're seeing know. through it now. Um, yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro just... Skater 3 and 4, please. Get on that. Yeah, Get on that, that, Phil. I, that, that surely has to happen. I know like at the time that team actually went to work on WoW stuff, but... Wasn't there sure, a story the happen. other week about basically people saying like, yeah, we we were working on it and Activision just fucking binned the whole thing and told us to get on. So they can get, get the code back. Get it yeah. back up. Yeah. Number two is so good. So yeah. good. Yeah. See, um, I was having a look at what we Activision have got that they could bring back. Mm-hmm. I mean, their Go franchise on, list got? is not very long. But like they haven't really got a lot. As, it's not as much as, you, as you'd think. Mm. But, I mean, I was thinking, I mean, Geometry Wars, it'd be great to have that back again because that was yeah. very good. It'd be nice to see that again. Wasn't there, because who, did what, did they, were they involved really? with Geometry Wars 3? I thought that was I think they were, taken yeah. off their hands by that point. I thought not? they did, didn't, uh, they published it at least, I think. Did they, but okay. But I don't know. And, uh, but I mean, then, it yeah. was all right. I don't, I can't, I'm not, that's not going to get people subscribed to Game Pass, though. No, that's yeah, true. There's no shortage of good shooters twin stick yeah. shooters uh, mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah i mean guitar hero uh, obviously pitfall yeah maybe i could do another yeah. pitfall yeah. i don't know i mean uh, if we're including blizzard i'd i'd go for a lost vikings uh reboot i'll be all right with that or finally releasing starcraft ghost yeah, I could oh do my that. god yeah, yeah. that'd be yeah, that'd i've done any of that got the novelization but that's it mm-hmm. no game so. um <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what they eventually do with this stuff, but honestly, there's nothing that's really exciting me about Xbox at the moment. I really, mm. really hope they come out next year with guns blazing, but we've wanted that for that so long years now. ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, next story is that an analyst by the name of, of uh, Dr. Sirkin Toto, who's an industry consultant, was speaking to gamesindustry.biz, has said that he's expecting that Sony are going to react to this Activision deal with a major acquisition of their own. He said, Sony surely is under pressure to react, even after their Bungie acquisition. I expect further investments and acquisitions for PlayStation, including a large one that would move the needle for them in a meaningful way. So There's some insight for you. You yeah. think that they might want to try and challenge their competitor? Yeah. Blimey, that's that is. <laughs> that's gonna yeah, I know it's wage. easy to poke fun at like analysts. Analysts, yeah. I, was, yeah, I mean, it is. I, don't, <laughs> I just read this. What? No, go on. Like, what was the end of that sentence, Sean? Well, I, I, just, just... I don't think Sony do. Like, I think Sony have already responded to Microsoft's acquisition of Activision by bringing out fucking Spider Man and it being brilliant and yeah, by yeah. releasing <laughs> games. So do you know what I mean? Yeah. Buying... I don't think studios. they do need to respond to the purges in any particular way. And this just refers back to Ian's question last week about why is this a problem? Because if Sony do go down that route, it's like, oh, great, more stuff that's being mm. locked away underneath mm. their own um, yeah. their own banner. I, I don't know, man. They, they, they went out and bought Bungie during all of this as well. Let's not mm-hmm. forget that. So... Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, it's gonna be an interesting time for Sony, but it look they are the market leader. Well, no, they're not. Nintendo, are the market leader, right? They they're the ones that have sold the most consoles. Um, but, but like we've seen with Sony time and again, what they've what they've done and what appears to have worked so far is they have worked with studios over a series, you know, like a, an amount of time, and then once there's like a proven relationship there, they've gone, yeah, fuck it, we'll buy them. Yeah. Whereas Microsoft is like, yep, yeah, you, 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 carry on what you <laughs> yeah. were doing before. Oh no, you're making bad <laughs> games. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, that scene in that Michael Jackson documentary where he walks into that tacky ornament store and just goes, I'll have two of those. That's eight million. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, I, 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 don't know, I don't know. I just feel really weird about the whole thing, about everything that's going on at the moment. It's Sony. I hate the fact that their games cost seventy pounds. Like yeah. I hate that, but I'm loving their games. So w- what can you do? Do you know yeah, what I mean? There's, I mean, we've been at this, but I know, yeah, it's a lot of money, and I'm like, I keep forgetting it's seventy quid to buy. Although, yes, if you buy it through like Shop Two vouchers, etc., it works yeah, yeah, out a bit cheaper. But still, yeah. I'm keeping it at seventy quid. But then I also think when I'm playing them, if if I have a game of this quality and requires seventy quid, then I guess I'm willing to pay seventy quid to get these this quality of game. I know they can probably do it cheaper, but yeah. Part of me is also like I'm kind of happy to pay it if I'm getting these kind of experiences where I'm kind of getting them nowhere else. See, mm. that's why I mean, like the dream would be that quality on Game Pass, 
but Starfield <laughs> yeah. hasn't been yeah. that, for cool. example. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's right. Okay. okay. Um, final story um, is that also PlayStation has patented a controller that stores and charges wireless earbuds. So this is That's where what the you headphones need more fucking gunk on your pad. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a brilliant idea. Don't get me wrong. I yeah. do think it's a brilliant idea to keep your headphones earbuds in your controller. That seems like a really cool. Yeah, but it like is a just AirPods case, shit, but as a maybe. controller, brilliant. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the um, problem is, you'd have to buy their headphones, which are like mm. two hundred quid. Mm. Then you'd have to buy this new controller, with, which will be more than a standard controller. You know what I mean? Then it's you like, know, oh, come on. You know, it's going to be like about two hundred and fifty or three hundred quid, isn't it, for like a controller with some headphones? You know, and it's going to be well, more, that no, would no, be more no, than not that. with the headphones. It'd be the headphones more than alone, that. like two twenty, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they actually something like that. So. It will be more than that. But but then how do you turn around and say, yeah, right, so we've got a controller with uh, some headphones in it, and that's 250 quid, or a controller with a screen in the middle of it for 200 quid. <laughs> like this, All this stuff feels like slinging shit at a wall at the moment and seeing what sticks. I mean, like, to be clear, we don't know if they're actually making this controller, right? It might no, just it's be a a, pattern. It's an idea we it's had. Well, we can make yeah. sure no one else makes it at least. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea, yeah. I think. Honestly, it is a good idea because I'm, you know, constantly looking for headphones. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass. I will say one hear, thing. Do you want I mean... the quote for what oh, they said? Yes, please. So mm. they said the controller is designed to act both as an input device and as a headphone storage, charging, and connection case. Using the controller as a headphone case and an earbud charger eliminates the need to manage two separate devices. So, yeah. I mean, one of the best things about my AirPods is the case. You know, before this, I was buying loads of cheap, like 10, 15 quid wireless head, you know, headphones. And it's like this is a ball lake. And with AirPods case, keeping it charged, brilliant, right? But, like, the <laughs> the PlayStation 5 pad doesn't last that long currently mm. when it's just powering itself. Let mm. alone also charging, you know, headphones. That's so very true. We're That's talking like a 15-minute charge. Or maybe like, it's know, just like battery massive life. battery in it, super heavy. It's like it weighs as much as uh, four DualSense controllers. But, All I'm you know, saying be, is... Be, yeah. If Sound Peaks did one of these, oh, it would go. be 30 oh, quid and it would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it is mad though, isn't it? The the difference in battery power between an Xbox pad and a PS5 pad. Look, um, I'm playing, I'll play Spider-Man for like an hour and a half and I'll lose two bars of that, that mm, fucking charge really? on the pad. Yeah, but I think go, There's only three bars, Sean. <laughs> There's only three bars. I think in Spider-Man's case, that's because the haptics are going pretty much constantly while you're you playing You say it. that, right. you say that, and I think that's the argument that I've always heard about, oh, the haptics, obviously. But no, it was the same with the PS4. The PS4 mm-hmm. had shocking battery yeah. power in it. Mm-hmm. Like, people were having to buy bigger batteries to fit into their controller. Like the, the, Yeah, it is absolutely crazy how much that thing needs charging. It really does one nothing. One but last thing on this, I think it's absolutely wild how... Uh, hardware crazy Sony's gone this year we've had PSVR mm. 2 obviously we had the new Pulse uh, headphones we had the new earbuds we've got the Portal Hold on, they're we've new got... Pulse headphones yeah they, they've got they've got like, new Pulse headphones which have like the, you know, the zero latency stuff as well haven't they yeah they've got they got two new designs they've got like earbud ones and they've also and got the, the, oh, yeah. the new ones no not yet yeah. So, uh, okay, so, so right. Because like, yeah, I was earbuds, looking at Pulse 3D Pulse. headphones. And... We've got the Portal yeah. coming out in November. We had the PSVR. We've got the PlayStation Slim. You know, PS5 Slim. Like, they've they've just done so much hardware-wise this year. It's, it's pretty pretty wild to see, actually, I think. I think they're ramping up because they know that over the next couple of years, that's when they go their... You know, it gets even bigger, right? Like, their their mm. reach is, gets just gets bigger and bigger from this point. Yeah, so, getting... Year pretty this interesting out. you think oh yeah yeah sure they'll spread things out but they're just like sod it we'll do the whole thing in one year like if you want to get I, and also i, f- I think and they also had their, their um you know the 220 pound kind of pro pad they released as well mm-hmm. yeah, the and they, Edge. they also had the accessibility controller as well they did and that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah like if, if you're someone who's like a hardcore sony fan you've bought all their things man a lot of lot of cool hardware released in one year yeah okay is that it for the news? That is all for the news this week. Right. Well, it's time for what you've been playing. And uh, there has been two massive games released. And I'm not going to do that thing where I go, oh, I've picked up two games that you've not heard of that got released <laughs> this week. Because that irritates the shit out of me. Um, I think we should start with Super Mario Wonder. 
Um, although I would like to say this, right? So both Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Wonder come out on Friday. And the Sonic um, game. And the Sonic game, but none of us have played that, so that won't be covered this week. I'm <laughs> sure James Farley will be covering that at some point. No, 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 there, was a, uh, there was a news article, article on the BBC website that was like, it's the, the clash of the 90s again, the new <laughs> Sonic game and the new Mario game. And I was like, okay. Um, so I bought both of these games and I bought them digitally, right? So we woke up in the morning on Friday and I just had the best time. Right, Charlie's been waking up earlier and earlier. Um, but on Friday, I woke up at 5.30 and I was like, okay, I'm all right to go in the front room this time with him. <laughs> so I went in the front room and Harry got up at six and he, uh, Charlie was just doing his own thing. But Harry went straight onto the Switch and booted up Mario Wonder. I sat and played Spider-Man and we sat there for a good hour on Friday morning, both playing bits, pausing it, going, duck at it, let's put that down and look at what's going on <laughs> on the TV. And then Harry saying, now just stop what you're doing and look at this. And I'm going, no, Harry, because I don't want it spoiled. I'm playing that later. Um, and that feeling, like, honestly, it felt like Christmas morning where everyone was, like, getting their new toys or whatever. Mm. The excitement in that front room for the hour, Joe walked in after waking up and looked at us and just sort of sighed. I just thought, oh, for fuck, what have I got in my house? But it was so fun to go through that. Both of us being blown away with these new video games and wanting to show each other bits. Like, I loved it. It was so good See, Friday morning. That's mad because we, we had the exact same experience, just reversed. Because I was playing oh, really? Mario and Asher was playing Spider-Man. <laughs> it was really? just, yeah, it was, it was cool. Yeah. Um, how much Super Mario Wonder have you guys played? I'm interested. Let's start with James. I have just started the third world um, in it, and uh, oh, well, yeah, okay. before yeah, so that... you're quite early on then because it yeah. sounds like there's loads of worlds. But that's that's because I'm I'm like trying I'm 100 percenting everything as I go through. Like I'm not okay. rushing through it. I'm going back and doing stuff, and yeah, just trying to 100 percent everything first. Yeah, I, um, I'm also trying to 100 percent it, but I've only played this really well 95 percent co-op with LED. And uh, my brother-in-law on the weekend, and uh, a tiny, tiny bit, like a couple of extra levels to mop things up on my own. So I think I'm also in a second area because I'm trying to 100 percent it before I move on. Uh, sure. So it's difficult to quantify because I'm because <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing it on and off with Isaac, but we're in this weird because he's like he's got his own switch. Thank you, James. Um, so I was like thinking oh yeah like i'll have my save on my switch he'll have his save on his and then occasionally we'll co op on the telly what's actually happened right. is when i'm not around he's occasionally gone well i want to play it on the telly so he's played on my save and obviously oh, i don't want to kill her that's the thing and i don't want to be that dad that's like no get off get off my save like obviously i don't want to be that guy but i'm loading the game up and being like oh i'm in world three now Okay, so th this is a thing. This is an interesting <laughs> thing to talk about, right? So, because yeah. we we've all have to deal with um, account management over our switches, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, why haven't you got a profile for him on the switch on the telly? What's so that's the what I need to sort out because he's got a profile for him on his switch, obviously. Yeah. But to make a yeah. proper online profile, he needs an email address and shit, and I need to. Just oh sort, yeah, I I, just I set that, that up for yeah. You've got to do that because yeah. I, yeah, Harry's got his own email address now, which he uses for his like. Google account and yeah. his Microsoft account and his mm. Nintendo account. Like, it's mm. just worth doing. The only problem is, is that, like, Harry's like 10 years older than he actually is. Otherwise, it doesn't say, yeah, you do like, just... hardly anything with it. It's really yeah, frustrating. Yeah, you just lie about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, it's super but frustrating, all that stuff. It's it really, really is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. And if you forget the, like, the birth year that you put in, sometimes <laughs> it's like you can't get any further into the system without, like, resetting it. Oh, all. shit, of course. Because you, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we've, we've got that situation where we bought one digital copy because I didn't want to have to keep taking the car out of the, the Switch yes, and then handing it back yeah, and same. forth. Yeah. So we've got the digital copy, but the problem is, um, so on their Switch is my main account mm -hmm. and then my Switch is like the sub one so that yeah, they can play same. all of my games, right? Yeah. But the amount of times I'm playing a game and then it's just here, like him booting it up from the other corner of the room and then it kicks me out. And I'm like, mm. Harry, come on, <laughs> just at least let me know. Um, so for me, I've played, I'm very, like way too early on. I didn't actually put it down on my list of games to talk about because I am like literally in the first area outside of the tutorial area. Um, 
um, and I've played m- the majority of it in co-op. Mm. So I'm playing my own save, but I'm also playing a separate save with the co-op stuff. Okay. Right? And um, I hate the co-op. I- I've always hated the co-op in in 2D Mario games. I think it's just it's been interesting kind of just and clumsy and yeah i think there's problems with the way they've implemented it but it but i've found what i think is quite a good solution um, okay because my I, biggest I problem well, actually because you see yeah. I, i've been playing this in co-op as well with the whole mm-hmm. family so there's been like mm-hmm. four of right. us playing oh, at wow, the same okay. time and it's incredibly chaotic especially when you get like yeah. one of the like wonder seeds or whatever like yeah that, yeah it's imagine. almost run, impossible yeah. yeah joe was getting infuriated because she was like i'm constantly off the screen like it feels like i can't because like, well, me yeah, and so Harry are like that's jumping ahead. One and then, is, yeah. yeah, it basically chooses a leader, which I think is based on. Is it like the, who got the most coins in the previous level? No, it's either. Or... No, I think it's based on who who cuts the tape. You know, at right. the end on you know on okay. the on the pole rather. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Um. So, th- like, yeah, the camera just prefers them. Like, yeah, that's right. I mean, apparently, you can press L and R, and it ghosts you, and then makes someone else the leader. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? but, that's, but then okay. you need them to revive you. I don't know, bit of a faff. The other thing is, you know, obviously they made a, a point of the fact that you've got your, you know, Mario, Luigi, the the Toads, princesses, etc. So they're all your like the, the normal Nambits characters. Or whatever. What sorry? Are we Nambit. Nambits. Yeah, well, Nambits Nambit. and Yoshi's Nambit, are different. Yeah. yeah, so Nambit, Nambit and, Nambit, and, Yoshi and then there's Yoshi's yeah. who are like the easy mode characters because they can't die, right? Mm-hmm. And they like Yoshi has like his flutter jump, and obviously he can eat stuff. I don't know what Nabbit has. I've not, not played as Nabbit yet. So obviously we started off. I was like, right, Isaac, I'll be Mario, you be Yoshi, because that's the easy mode character, right? Problem number one, he, Isaac's pissed off because he can't use items. Yeah. Right? Because mm-hmm. Yoshi doesn't get, you know, Fire Flowers or Oh, that shit. right. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. 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 So he's already, it, yeah. like, disappointed by that. And then yeah. also you can ride on Yoshi. And it's like... Well, if Yoshi's the easy mode character, if Yoshi's the, the, the like the invincible character because you're bad at the game, why would you want to ride on him? Yeah, that's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So after a couple of levels, I was like, this isn't working because like Isaac's getting frustrated because he can't use the items. I'm thinking, oh well, I should be the leader because I know what I'm doing. But actually, there's sections where like you've got to just sprint through or whatever, and Isaac's just getting lost and he's getting frustrated. So what? I, so after a couple of levels, I said, right, change your plan. We're going to swap characters. You be Mario. I will let you lead and make mistakes or, or whatever, whatever happens. And I'll just sort of hang around as Yoshi as your like immortal bodyguard, right? I'll just right. <laughs> sort of hang back and That's let you pretty do stuff. Cool. And, like, I like if that. you need help, like I can jump in, or if you if there's a bit you're stuck on, you can jump on my back and I'll just I'll carry you through it and then you carry on. And that's worked. It's not a an amazing experience for me. Um but it's obviously, but it's been wonderful helping him understand. Because that's the other thing, like him playing as Yoshi, he's not learning the game. Because right. it doesn't matter if he dies and can't use Yeah, yeah, items. yeah, totally. So there's zero mm. consequences to anything. And he's not seeing half the mechanics because he doesn't get to pick up a fire flower or he doesn't get to be the elephant or, you know. So it's been much better just letting him explore at his own pace. And I'm just there to, you know, to help if, if needed. Up. But See, that, also the, so... the the other the other problem with that is that this game is fucking hard in places. Yes, yes. Do you know is, what yeah. I mean? So yeah. so yeah. like Yoshi gets you so far, but you do have to actually be, be half good. decent at the yeah. game. I mean, do you know what especially, I mean? Especially, like, I mean, I try. I did a five star level the other day, and it's mm. it, that is really it was really tough. I mean, I played loads of these games, yeah, I, and it was it was very difficult. I thought because I saw reviews saying like ah, the difficulty is not really there. That's a Mario. Oh, Harry, yeah. Harry was close to smashing his switch yeah. at one point this yeah. weekend. He yeah. was just like he was. This is impossible. He kept <laughs> shouting at it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he was he's really struggling with it, but. Mm. That's the co-op side. We just wanted to cover that briefly because I know some people will be thinking about that. I would say if you're buying this game, do not buy it for co-op, right? Like, mm, um, to know. it's I a mean... little bit different. I, I would say I would say 3D World does co-op better. Um, yeah, uh, but that's uh, that's because I mean the 3D World games in general, I would I'd, I'd say are easier anyway than 2D. Like 2D sure. Mario games are way harder than 3D ones, right? Sure. And because you need a level of precision that you don't. You know, you don't have with the 3D ones, but then so I mean, why would you say buy this for the co-op then? What? Because what I mean, the way I found from playing it is, you see, I mean, as I said, I've been playing it with like the whole family, and I just found the easiest way to play with them is I just don't run. 
you know, if I don't <laughs> run, then they're all we all kind of go along at kind of the same speed. That mm-hmm. speed because mm-hmm. none yeah. of those them do either, and so but it's just yeah. not you... an enjoyable experience. For no, no, That's it's, but I'm they're saying. enjoying like... it. Like they're having a good time, so you know, it's it's fine. Because if you run on the ahead and they get hit by the back early. of the screen, that then they die. Then you've got to like rush back to them, or they rush to you to like mm-hmm. revive them again. So it's just rinse and repeat, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's not a massive co-op game for me. I, mm. I don't, I don't think it works particularly well. Well, the, yeah. However, I just, sorry, just just quickly. So yeah, so yeah, yeah, we've enjoyed those co-op sessions, but I think Isaac will now agree that the the more fun sessions are where it's him playing as his, his switch, me playing on mine, and us just like showing each other bits we're doing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But obviously that's easy for us to say because we've got two switches in the house. But yeah, whatever. So yeah, we'll try and I mean this is a Mario game that has spoilers in it, so it's it's kind mm. of tough to. Um, to talk around some of the Wonder Seed stuff, um, but let's let me just can I just uh, I've only got a few things to say about this. As I say, I'm very early on. Firstly, I'd just like to say thank God they got rid of the art style from the new Super Mario games. I never really clicked with it. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't hate the music as much as other people did, but uh, I could see why people were irritated on that. That's not a problem with this game. The music is way better in uh, Super Mario Wonder, but the biggest thing you will notice when you boot up this game and start playing it is the complete overhaul with Matt, uh with um uh, animation yeah. like everything is animated beautifully like mm-hmm. it is such a huge step up from mario games um from before including i'm including 3d games i'm including um the 3d world games and bowser's fury the the fact that everything feels different like mario's hat is just constantly doing shit as he's doing stuff you know like the the animation is absolutely beautiful when you're turning into the elephant mario or whatever you're doing in this game it is just it's such yeah, a huge step forward from what so much character even if when you're sque- squeezing through a pipe and like the elephant's like big butt kind of barely squeezes through and it feels like everything is moving everything it's, has characters yeah, what, what's and, like, amazing you know, like, about when you go that through the pipe and he like turns around and like grabs his hat grabs yeah, his hat yeah, yeah. 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 it reminds me of it's like a looney yeah. tunes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's what it, well, it reminded me, of, like. me a lot of the animation from disney illusion illusion island which yeah. is full of this stuff mm-hmm. you know little mm-hmm. bits and pieces that's going on in between transitions or whatever you do what i find incredible is that I would have thought, if you'd have said to me, they're going to release a new 2D Mario game, but the animation is going to be way more detailed. So as you go through a pipe, Mario reaches out and grabs his hat. As you do a power slam, he you can see his whole body sort of shudder as he hits the floor and his hat flies up into the air and all this sort of stuff. I would think, well, surely then the gameplay is going to feel sluggish, right? Because you've got to get those extra frames of animation in. You've got to put these... Little... It well, just response, does not affect the yeah. the Mario feel at all. It mm-hmm. feels like you're playing a Mario game. I'm, I don't know how they've done it. I genuinely don't know how they've done it without it making feels making it feel like sluggish or slow. It mm-hmm. doesn't have that effect on the gameplay at all. Mm-hmm. The one other thing that I wanted to talk about before we go into the mechanics and how they've changed and and is, did anyone else really notice the difference in Mario's voice? I was yeah. thinking it's going to sound exactly the same, but instantly yeah. I was like, <laughs> really "This different. isn't Mario." Yeah, yeah, definitely feels different. He doesn't say that much, but yeah, what he does say, you can tell. Mm. But maybe because we're looking out for it, you know. More different? No, I don't think it is because Harry said it. In... Harry doesn't know the that it's got a new voice actor, mm-hmm. and he just really went, new. "What's going on with Mario's voice?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh yeah, they got a new person oh, yeah, to do Pratt. the voice." You suppose, Dave? You should have just said, "We, we don't talk about that." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you about the Mario Ambassador. <laughs> but, no, it, what does that it mean? It is know. noticeable, and I can only assume that this is a. Um, they were going for a tone change in Mario's mm. voice, maybe to bring it down a bit, maybe to make it a little bit more like the. I think mean, it's yeah, an which is easy good, thing right? to because say. Why, but... why change the actor if you're just going to go do it the exact same? Yeah, as the you last can't guy do an impression like... of him. Otherwise, yeah, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I? I, I the it's... question is, am I being a dickhead guy, and this is nowhere near as good? His voice. <laughs> no, I think it's because Luigi fine. sounds the same, right? Luigi sounds pretty similar to yeah. what he did before, but it's just Mario that sounds. I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get used to it. I think it's. Fine. Um, I'm assuming James... that you also turned off the uh, the <laughs> the flowers as well. Like I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. I kind of like. Have you not? It. Okay. Yeah, they're stupid. Like they're stupid. They are. The, the, the flower voice is stupid. It hasn't irritated me. It's been no, quite funny. Me, I think. me neither. Yeah. 
Because I was reading, a, I was reading like, a story. Where? Originally, there was going to be running commentary. Like this was yeah. the idea. Oh god, was that that's gonna... dreadful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there was one um, bit with the flowers, and I won't spoil it because it's a fun bit. But then, like, it's like a little set piece, and then afterwards, one of the flowers is like, "Oh, you don't see that every day." And it's like, "Yeah, you do. You live here." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like, I like the one where you go and you jump on one of those balls, and the and the, and the flower just went, "A boing!" When you went up there, I was like, "Okay." But yeah, no. Um, overall, yeah, I'm not half as irritated by them. James is missing all this. Yeah, they're good. Hmm. But oh yeah, because right. turn it off, right? Okay. Listen. I might have to switch them back on again now. I just assumed they were terrible. So I mean, they're, they're not. I'm, I'm not like saying like, oh man, you got to put them back on. They're, I mean, they're, they're fine. Yeah, um, they're fun. I, I've um, fun so yeah. As I, as I say, I'm very early on. I haven't got much to say about the game overall. I'm kind of find it funny how many times in the few levels that I've done, they've gone, how do I fuck this up as much as I can? You know, how do I, how like as a developer, how do I? fuck with your expectations like for example i will give a couple of very early examples i think the first example you'll come across to go oh this game's a bit different is when you go down a pipe but you pop out a pipe way in the background yeah you know what i mean I like and that. that was the first thing harry was like oh my god i'm in like here's the <laughs> mario level but look mario's right at the it's back like, it's there like, it's proper like i mean th yeah this this does make me reminds me a little bit of like rayman legends actually because right, they did a Kong's done it yeah, um, they did a lot of this sort of stuff new, in that. But it is no, cool. it's not new, but... But it's really seeing... well executed, obviously. It is, yeah, yeah, it is really well executed in this. And seeing Harry's reaction to that, mm -hmm. like it was like breaking the full fall for him. It was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, he's not supposed to be there, but there mm -hmm. he is right mm -hmm. in, in the distance there. Um, James, how are you fighting? Seeing as you're the person that's put the most time in, you're the furthest into the game, how are you finding... It. is it ramping up is it maintaining that level of wackiness for you absolutely it is and one of the things that i'm enjoying the most about this is that you know like so many times with these 2d mario games there's been like you know you start off with like you know the grassy green you know like first yeah. world and then it's like oh it's a sand one now and then it's like whatever this is not really doing that like at all in the, mm. sort of the same way the third world that i've just come to it's so interesting, like visually. I've not seen anything like this. I don't think, like in a in a Mario game before, and it's really cool to see this because this, more than any other like two um, D Mario game, certainly for years, really feels like they've just been like, okay, let's just do completely new stuff. Like let's just come up with whatever we can think of, and it just feels so inventive, like continuously like, inventive and entertaining. Think, like yeah, with that third one, you sort of you look at it. We can say what it is, right? It's not that off the wall that it's. I wouldn't call it a spoiler. Um, okay. It's, yeah, it, I like, think if you're God. really set, I, I see. I think people that are worried about spoilers have probably played this enough already to have yeah. seen the third level. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not. It. Yeah. I'm not. Not going to reveal anything new. So, <laughs> World Three is like a cloud world, right? Mm -hmm. And then it, and you sort of and you look at it and you're like, yeah, but come on, basically it's Snow World, right? Right. Right. But then it's actually not. playing it, it's like yeah. no, no, it is. It is a cloud world. <laughs> And it looks, um, and that's the and thing. Like throughout, it looks amazing as well. Like throughout, yes. like it, well, it they, really. This is, yeah, this was something I was really surprised by because I was before it came out, I was watching video reviews with Isaac and like, and I, and in vid, you know, and I, I know compre like video compression is a factor, but all the reviews were like, oh, and like as you can see, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and I was like, eh, I, all right, whatever. But actually playing it, yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised by how I don't know, just just seems really different. Well, I don't know, it's just because I'm interacting with it or because I'm seeing it without any video compression. But I think animations yeah, just... make a huge difference. I mean, yes. really just, it yeah. just, we've heard this line so many times, but it kind of does feel like playing a cartoon, like more than a Mario game has in a long time. I think it just feels mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, it's so characterful. Everything you see yeah. and do, it feels mm -hmm. like the whole world's moving along with you. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the other things which I think is probably i mean i wouldn't say it is yet because i'm not entirely sure but it's kind of a game changer is the badge system because i can really see that that is going okay. to result in very different ways of engaging with yeah. levels so like explain what the badge system huge. is for those that haven't been watching the build up to this so as you're playing through you come across um these sort of like huts i guess they are where you go in and you know, have a chat with somebody and they often give you like a badge which gives you a new ability that you use on like the right trigger and these abilities are the first one I think you get is like makes your cat massive so that you can then like grab it and you can Float, sort of parachute right. down, you know, for things. Yeah. But there's another one a bit later on which does like fast swim as well. So you can like sort of go through the, you know, go through water much quickly and smash through like blocks and stuff. And then there's other ones which are things like, um, 
like adds you remember like the switch palace that used to have in like mario world mm. there's one that's kind of like that where it like adds oh, extra blocks right. to the yeah, level yeah, and yeah. things like that so it's quite interesting because they can quite radically change how you would approach a level i think and if you're having trouble or you know you wanted to explore different areas you could probably utilize the badges in this way and i thought and what what they do which is really cool is they also have these like extra um like sort of sections that are called like they, what is it called it's called like you know like break break zone or something i can't remember yeah, they call yeah, it yeah. break time or something break, break time, time yeah. yeah where they're just these really tiny small levels which usually only take probably about 30 seconds or so which is usually like a challenge sometimes based around one of the badges or whatever mm. and for the switch like because the whole like sort of pick up and play thing it feels great like it's just like you just pick one of those up try and master like that and then then move on and it's yeah, it's it's really really effectively um, yeah put together these little like sort of break zones before you go to like mm. the longer like more more complicated levels. Mm. It's, no, they're, yeah. they're really cool because I was um, like on and off. I've been playing a bit of Mario vs Donkey Kong because I'm excited about the new one, which mm-hmm. although basically just appears to be a remake of the GBA one, right? So I was like, well, I'll just play the GBA one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, and like Mario's move set in that is really good. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like there's a lot to it. So coming onto this, I was like, oh. He's like a lot of that stuff is missing, right? The the crouch jumps and the backflips and, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, I mean, fine, but I, mean, I don't know. I initially, felt a little bit restrictive, but yeah, as you start playing through it and you start collecting more of these badges, you can only activate one at a time. Mm-hmm. But it's like, oh right, yeah. So they've they've kept the move set really simple because there's going to be about fucking twenty other abilities I might choose to use 100%. You know, for each level and it's that, yeah really interesting that was a thing because like initially my, my first thing that i noticed was doesn't appear to be there was like a triple jump you know yeah. like you can always mm. you know to get like extra height and stuff that's just not there and then it's like oh yeah it's probably because that maybe that's a badge or something like that later on that i just haven't come across yet and it's i mean also has, has anyone done like the online stuff because that's I've turned quite it on. a bit it's weird yeah i don't fully understand it it's quite interesting and it's and it's quite good as well because you have so if you switch it on when you're going through levels there'll be other people also going through the levels at the same time as you um although i don't know is it at the same time or is it recorded i, I don't really know how it works i mean i don't know if it's like full on dark souls I, I where like it, it is can't be people. live if i think i assume like dark souls you see like a ghost and it's like other people have done the same level as you i think i'm it's not like sure their best their runs i think is it the same time well, yeah, so maybe, maybe it must it must be live. Time. Yeah, because it's it's reactive. Oh no no mm. it, no, it's definitely live because you can react mm. to it. Because the whole yeah. point is is that like if you get hurt or something happens and you like you know if you you know like die, you come back as like a ghost and you can find somebody else who's going through the level and they'll revive you. Mm. And what's quite cool okay, about cool. that is like a couple of times I've seen people like coming towards me and I'm like okay I'm going to stop and wait for you so that you can you can come back to life or whatever and stuff like that's pretty good. But it's also like useful for like finding stuff as well sometimes. Mm. You know like they'll you know. People will go where you're not expecting they're going to go. It's like, oh, there must be something up there and stuff like that, which is which is pretty cool. But what, mm. what's the um? I've seen them and I've got some. But what what are the standees? And like they relate to one line as mm. well, right? Yeah. So with those, you can also so you collect the standees, which are like these sort of like panels, and there's like obviously there's hundreds of them. Like cardboard cutouts. Like cut yeah. Cut out, right? yeah. But you can also like if you're yeah if you're if you are like turned into a ghost or whatever you know because you've been hit, then you can go back to those and come back. You know, like it, it's yeah. It, it's, so they're like checkpoints. Is it like a, a checkpoint? They're system. almost like checkpoints. Yeah, it's yeah. And what do you mean uh, almost like checkpoints. Yeah, but you can well no because you you can drop you I think you drop them and then other people can then use them or whatever like in the mm. thing. So it's yeah. Right, I'm not entirely sure how the system works yet because I've not explored right, it myself. Right, right, but okay. um, yeah. But it's interesting. I mean, yeah, the the online works better than I thought it was going it, that it would, in in the sense that it is quite nice to feel that you're playing through and there's other people. This like, feels um, very un Nintendo, doesn't it? Yeah, it does a bit, yeah. and it is a bit chaotic at times. Like mm-hmm. Trying to figure out like a certain bit, or whatever, and there's just other people running and jumping around. Like, I feel yeah, like the I, stuff I, I learned I, from <laughs> Mario Run. I think they took a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Mario yeah. Run had that did that same kind of thing. Really, we had all the ghosts of other people doing it at the mm-hmm. same time. They've probably taken some significant learnings from the mobile games i have released i reckon but you can still you know if you don't want it you can still switch it off it doesn't have to be there you know it's there's no yeah there's no pressure or anything it's yeah. uh yeah i do um yeah i do i i i don't know i i, I do wonder where <laughs> i don't know i just never trust nintendo with this online stuff <laughs> and i do wonder where this has come from mm. <laughs> it's strange isn't it for them to come up with something that's a pretty cool idea 
and that seems to have a nice impact in how you're playing the game. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I think it's I'm just eager come from to the mobile. See. I think they've probably expanded on that idea. I yeah, it's, I, that makes sense. I'm also, I'm also like, um, uh, God, you know what? My brain's just gone. <laughs> 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 what I was going to say. Do you want me? Do you want to hear the, the closest thing I've got to a criticism of this oh, yeah. game? Go on. And this might just be me. Um, I couldn't hum a single tune from the game yet. No, but I yeah. I agree. I'm the same, but the music is noticeably uh, an improvement over New Super Mario Bros. In my opinion, is it? I never I never played any of the new Super Mario uh, Bros. Uh, just all that stuff yeah, is they, getting they, on my nerves. Yeah, right. I they see, got rid of all that. The thing that I love the most about this so far is this does feel like a sort of a genuine sort of evolution of the two D of mm. 2D Mario games, mm -hmm. whereas the new Super Mario Brothers games never did feel like that to me. Yeah, they, they always felt like, yeah, these are really good, solid, like, 2D platformers. And I really, really loved uh, new Super Mario Brothers U. I thought it was fantastic. But they it never really felt like they really played with the formula too much, whereas this, the, this feels a lot more creative, I feel. Yeah, this is way more creative. But I yeah. think they needed to do that. I think I, I was yeah. when I was playing this, I thought, God, could you imagine if this was a new Super Mario Bros. game? Like, if this was a new one of those. Mm. I don't think... I, I think that would have got a hammer in. Because, mm. you know, as you say, there are good versions of that series, right? Mm -hmm. There are good games in that series. Mm -hmm. I think the only one that was genuinely bad was the Super, New one. Super Mario Bros. Yeah, the, 2. The, yeah, yeah, on the, the Queens oh, one. Yeah. Oh, it was on the 3DS, yeah. It was on the yeah. 3DS, yeah. That was dreadful. Um, it's funny, though, isn't it? Like, something like this comes out and we're all looking at, like, the Wonder stuff, right? The, the Wonder Flower stuff. And we're like, oh, right. is this... But is this like a bit of a gimmick? Like, is it is this like a canon Mario game or is this an offshoot? But like, what what the fuck is a canon Mario game at this point? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's meaningless, really. But there's still this, this weird, like, oh, is this a real one or is this like a kind of a sideshow? Because um, we have I'd... had a few sideshow ones, right? And yeah. and um, you do wonder, yeah, you do wonder. Like, I would say Super Mario Bros. Two mm. on the 3DS was a side one. Mm. definitely mm -hmm. i remember playing that and just going this isn't this you could tell that it was and maybe i'm wrong but you could tell that it was by a b team and no, this it was. wasn't it was it was by a i remember like reading about it it was it was by like the by like younger developers or whatever at nintendo you know that right. were like it was given, right. it was given to mm -hmm. um yeah the one to see stuff is great i uh i'm interested to see how they keep that fresh mm. because for those of you that haven't played it you pick up a wonder seed or whatever it is, the flower or whatever it is, and it makes the level go a bit crazy for a little bit, and then you just get the seed. And sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's a, a gimmick. Um, and yeah, sometimes I just it's just like a little set a... piece, isn't it? But then yeah, other it's times it's like, but... here's an actual difficult platforming challenge. Yeah, I, w I wonder if that's going to get irritating, though, because I'm still mm. very early on, and I do wonder if it's going to get to point. like, okay. Do you know what no, I mean? Okay, all, let's do I the mean, wacky bit. So far, they've all been excellent. <laughs> once I've been excited, like, but you're so still far, very yeah. early on in the game. Like, yeah, Harry's up true. to like World Six or something. And but then, also, this the the way these seeds work is not how I thought it was going to work. Because I I I thought I maybe this is just misunderstanding when I watched all the trailers and stuff. That it was like you got these seeds and then you could kind of like activate them at like where, you know like whenever nah. you kind of felt like and then it would like mm. change stuff up in the level. But that would probably be impossible to do. Yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And yeah, it just makes me make me think. Well, I've got to go through at least one other time because I'm blitzing through these kind of wonder seed sections. You know, to make use of the uh, power ups and whatnot, but then I've gone back a second time to actually see where there are secrets there where I blasted mm. past first time. I should say, yeah, I like all the stuff is totally, one. totally optional, right? No, you can mm -hmm. run through every level. Oh, yeah, you, you get one, you get one seed, one, one, get one wonder seed for finishing a level, and then there's another one up for grabs for doing the the wonder flower bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can, you, you, some levels you might not even see the flower if you're not. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. Yeah, you can miss them, but you do yeah. still need to pick them up to advance and through the because that's the, yes, eventually the seeds are what for, let yeah. you get onto the next level. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I spoil one very early one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And if no one wants to hear this, then please, you know, get fast forward a bit. But the one where all the piranha plants start singing, you know, they'll oh, yeah, start yeah, coming yeah. out and singing. And then mm. when you realise that actually you can take them out and it cuts down the singing yeah. is. <laughs> just so funny like mm. it really did put a smile on my face you know mm. they're all popping yeah, out and they're bit. all like singing in different sort of tones and mm. you know they're singing different notes and harmonizing 
and then you just throw like a red shell and you can hear and all of a sudden the singing stops because you've killed them all. <laughs> just really made me laugh. It was a really yeah. nice one. That's no, really um, good. Yeah, I really want to play more of this. I have just been very distracted by something mm -hmm. else. Yeah. And what so, have you been distracted by, Dave? Let's move on. Um, I have put 11 hours into Spider-Man 2 <laughs> since Friday. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, it's more than I've done. I've got yeah. it. I'm almost finished, soon. <laughs> nope. Um, I am nowhere near. I have put 11 hours into Spider Man 2 and I have not seen Venom. How about um, that? Okay. No, neither. Yeah. Really it's no, me neither. Absolutely. I don't know what to. Right, okay. What do I say about Spider Man? Well, so, how much have we all played so far? Oh, sure. shit. Actually, I've played more than I thought. I've played 12 hours according to this. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, it's the same thing happened to me. I thought I was like five hours in, and when I checked the app, it said 11 hours. I was like, holy mm -hmm. sh yeah. holy fuck. Um, what about you, uh, Matt? Um, so probably like four or five, I think. I haven't checked the app, but I think four or five. Um, and Sean's not played it because he's no. not on PS5. Been offering um, prayers for the, that PC port. I'm sure it'll be any day now. It's <laughs> I there yeah. There's stuff in this that can you get Ratchet and Clank on the PC yet? Uh, yeah, I've never checked. I don't think so. Because oh, a lot, they say that a lot of that's down to the SSD, and this takes some of that stuff to the next level, I think. Mm. Um, where do I start? I really like Spider Man 1. It had some problems, specifically in the um, story missions. There were quite a few story missions that sort of fell flat and weren't really fully fledged out. Some of the bases were a little bit cumbersome and a bit annoying. Um, uh, Miles Morales was a massive step forward, but it was very condensed, so it was a lot smaller game. You know, it was cheaper, and um, but it had way more heart. Like I love Miles Morales as a character in 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 that game. Um, this one, I did. I'm a. I, I don't know what to say. I can sit and play this for. I I put put a post on Rollmark. I don't post on there much recently, but I put a post on Rollmark this week that just said, I think I could happily sit and play this for 700 hours straight. <laughs> like, everything you do... The game... So, where do we start? Where do we start with this? Because it's massive, right? Well, Spider-Man 2 by is... walking off. Yeah. So, <laughs> Spider-Man 2 is a massive video game. The moment you are let loose in the world, it starts with this insanely big set piece that will blow you away and um, it's simply because of the scale of the thing the set piece right at the start is insane and then it lets you loose in the city and instantly you go whoa this play space is way bigger way mm -hmm. bigger because you could see over to queens and you could see over to um harlem and um, yeah it's got extra Brooklyn districts or... now hasn't it yeah. yeah it's got extra districts they're across it you know you cross the um is it river <laughs> i don't know i'm <laughs> terrible with this stuff but you, th there are several bridges to get across you never use them obviously because you've uh you've got the different ways of traversing the, the map um and at first you're kind of like whoa this is big this is bigger than you can imagine right you, you, you like it, this is bigger than i had in my head when i launched this game and it does this incredible thing where it drips feeds side missions so there'll be things to collect and to do throughout the city but when you load up the map it's not ram full of icons right it's it's just as you start to explore the city you might notice a few things and then you have to go out of your way to try and find everything else to put all these things together and then once you've collected everything so for example very early on there are side missions where you go around taking photos of landmarks and instead of like in the first game where you were taking photos of buildings or whatever you're taking photos of interactions mm -hmm. and it so that's a great example of the difference between spider-man one that came out in 2018 or whatever it was and this one so in that first game you were running around you would go up to a famous building you take a photo of it and it would tick up something off on your list you're doing the same here but instead you're doing something with characters that are like protesting so you get your photo, you get your camera out, you take a picture of the protesters, you get a little bit of a discussion with whoever you're sending the photos to about the history of protesting in New York and stuff like that. Um, but it's it's more interesting. You get a nice little bit out of it, and it still does the same thing. It's still that, yep, you've done that now, and there's another 15 of these to do, so go and do them. 
and you do them and they're always interesting. There's always a funny moment where, you know, there's uh, someone selling a hot dog and you take a photo of them and you can hear them selling the hot dogs. But the moment you take the photo, it's like, stop, Spider-Man, put the camera away. You know, am I going to yeah. get paid for it? You know, all that sort of <laughs> stuff. They're talking to you as you're doing it. And, and you just go, oh, what you've done here is you've built on a good game. Like mm. Spider-Man was a good game. Miles Morales was better, in my opinion, because they built on top of that. Yeah. This feels like it's built on top of both of them. It's taken the the uh, every element. It hasn't changed anything massively. Um, but what it has done is taken the stuff that you did in that first game and has made them better. So the story moments where you're not Spider-Man, they are better in this. So the visuals, they are better in this. The combat is better in this. Everything is slightly better than it was before. And when you piece all of these improvements together, you create a game that not is not only a good Spider-Man game and a good superhero game, it's a fucking great game. Like one that I just cannot put down, that I'm not interested in just going from story mission to story mission. I want to do everything this game has to offer. And I've just been absolutely loving it. At every moment I boot it up, I'm I'm enjoying myself. See, and I, I've had pretty much exactly the same experience because especially for like the side mission stuff or the, the other quests, because it is like okay, as you said, like they are building on what there was in the in the first game, and it is similar to other open world games where it is basically you're kind of going through like a checklist of like collecting all these, you know, things, or whatever. Right. But it doesn't matter because the thing is is that they've I, I feel they very effectively manage to make those sorts of things much, feel much more meaningful when you're doing them, largely because they're they're different. Like each time, like for example, one of them, there's a whole mission set which is with uh, like the Prowler, you know, the, this mm. character, whereby you have to like locate um, like his stashes around around the around the place. But accessing each one is kind of different each time, and so it doesn't feel sort of like checkboxy if you see what I mean so much it just feels like yeah this is this is really interesting to see the way that this has been you know each of the way these puzzles have been designed I love that I yeah. thought it was it was fantastic and I mean I I've been going through this I've been not rushing the story because basically as soon as I'm given the opportunity to do anything else that's off the main story I'm like yeah I want to do all of that now because a lot of these are just fantastic and there's a couple there's two side missions in this that I've done which I found really touching and also I was saying to David no, they are touching, Dave, but but they also it's like they're 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 pretty they're much darker than I was expecting from a game like That's this. That's my problem with it. I didn't really want them to be that dark. Like the one I was shocked about, actually. There's and, a, there's, a, there's yeah. a side story called um, Fine Granddad, mm. and it ends in uh, you know it ends a, a happy story, but also a sad. It's yeah, a conversation kind of thing, which is yeah. It was poignant, but I do kind of think it was like, what's that doing in this? Like that's no, no, just I, I, I think making me awful, feel like I, shit. Yeah, I get that, and it does make you feel. Like, it made me feel like that. But then I thought, for me, that was like an interesting contrast to what else was going on in the game. It was, it was interesting to see it from there because the whole thing with this game, like especially with the story, is you. There's so much about the character interaction between these younger people and like what they're doing with their lives, and you know, like the sort of the relationships they're building. And I thought it was quite interesting to see it from a, from another angle, like towards the end. And they certainly, thought... they certainly talk about that stuff a lot when it comes to Miles Morales and his mum, mm-hmm. right? Like, so the, there's a big part of that story and that thing is how not so much what miles morales is up to obviously that's a big part of the story but also how um how miles morales's mum is coping with this happening but then that's also it also looks at the fact that miles morales is getting older you know and her Mm -hmm. dealing with the fact that her son has now got his own responsibilities and Mm -hmm. is starting to get his own independence and everything so it does touch on in in like in the game and the films it's like oh yeah he's like 15 or something yeah, yeah. he's older <laughs> now isn't he, isn't he? Like yeah he's 21. Like older because yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah the flashbacks going back to school have been quite interesting yeah okay. yeah i mean um, but that's another thing that i think is really cool with this how you've got because obviously we know like everyone knows like harry osborne is in this as like a mm, character yes. yeah. and yeah, so yeah. obviously he has this like you know the strong relationship with peter that they've had mm-hmm. you know from as and cool. what yeah. what I just find really interesting also is then you're throwing in like Miles as well as being somebody who's been there when Harry was not there because he was yeah. you know absent for, and like the, <laughs> there's this really interesting like I think like sort of relationship dynamic was between this the three like of them. when you came back and Sean was on Joypod. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, I did think. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I suppose it's. I mean, I'm, and I'm saying this without having played the game or seen anything about it. I guess it, it sort of makes sense because if you're a big Spider-Man fan, you're seeing it through Peter Parker's eyes. Like, yeah, I know this relationship between these characters. Whereas if you're new to it, you're seeing it through Miles's eyes. Is that sort of how it works? Uh, it not really. Bit, no. No. I, nah, not really. I think. Yeah. I think they've. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, previous iterations of this character, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll say that up front. I was, I was but what I will Harry say isn't is you're usually not... Venom. Actually, that, that's that's. I think it's been done a couple of times, but generally, that, right? Yeah. That's, um, that's not so common. so seeing it through Miles's eyes, you're not really doing that. Mm-hmm. You're seeing the impact of their relationship through, mm-hmm. like you're seeing the impact of their relationship mm-hmm. at what that has on Miles. There, basically, mm-hmm. the, the way it does it is that there's several moments, and we don't know where this is going and whether they're actually going down this line because mm-hmm. we're not that far into the story, relatively speaking. But but there are several moments where Miles is trying to contact Spider-Man or mm-hmm. Peter Parker mm-hmm. to talk about something, and Peter Parker's like, mm, "No, I'm busy. Like, can, right. I'm with like Harry yeah. at the moment, so I'll call you back." And then forgets to call him back and all that. So it is touching on that stuff. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, the combat, I think, has had a massive improvement. I love, I, I like the combat of the old games. Um, there was definitely a situation where you found something that you liked about the combat previously. Um, like in the in the last couple of games, you'd find something that works for you in terms of combat, and you stuck to that. And eventually, you could level up to that point where you were just invincible. There was like a special move where you could jump up into the edge, spin around and just spray everyone with webs, webs and then that was the end of the fight, you know, yeah. for the majority like of the that. fights, which was great, but it just meant that every time you went into a group of enemies, you would do that. Mm. Like, there was no variety there. The way it's changed it is absolutely brilliant. So, you have, um, you've got eight cooldown um, items on your screen every time you go into battle nice. you've got four where you hold down the r r1 and press a uh press a button is it or yeah, yeah press a button yeah and um, and that they they're your gadgets so that'll be you know bring well, everyone on together that, or... that's a lot better because they're actually visually on screen whereas before yeah, i'd like, forget all the what time, i had yeah. or what but now they're all there you can see the cooldowns you can see the icons like okay, i know the spider thing is that and this and that so that's that's already way better you can actually yeah. see it rather than forgetting about it so so previously what you would have is all of those um gadgets and you would have a set number of gadgets and you could use as many as you want um, but then you had to fight normally to gain those gadgets back again mm-hmm. whereas this one everything's just on a timer call down and they were on screen as matt says all the time so you're not thinking oh i'll just use that gadget i'll go into the wheel i'll select that gadget and use that you're constantly just hold down r1 press one of the face buttons because it's available you've also got the same for your abilities so mm-hmm. on on the left hand side you would hold l1 and press one of the face buttons for your abilities it just means that you're fighting and fighting and fighting waiting for one of these cooldowns um to become available and using it immediately which not only makes for a more varied fight but it also makes everything look way more stunning because when you were fighting in the previous games you were doing the same moves over and over again well now you've got eight different options to fight now Mm. eight different options in between your normal fighting and it just makes each like the choreography of the fights in this is absolutely mind blowing. How the fuck they got it all to work s- seamlessly? You know, there's n- at no point does it look like the animation is cutting to do something else. Mm. And then it's just what's, so fluid. And then what's even more impressive with that is when they throw in other characters as well, who are also like you know like joining up with you and like doing stuff. And it's just like, yeah. where did that come from? Like, was not expecting that, and it just yeah. looks incredible. giving each other a thumbs up after doing a, a takedown move, yeah. and then you just carrying on as if yeah, yeah, it's that's all something stitched so together perfectly. And not only uh, as you both said, like all you're doing the moves, but if you're doing move and you finish and you kill an enemy, finish an enemy right next to your character, you'll kind of do it together, and that feels so seamless as well, like it's choreographed. That's the that's probably the most impressive thing this game does in terms of like if there was one word that I would use to describe this game, it's fluid. Like everything you do stitches together perfectly. The introduction of the wingsuit, if you didn't see it in the um uh in the trailers before the game came out, you've now got a wingsuit. And I just thought, do we really need that? The traversal was so good in the previous games. 
But the fact that you could just go in and out of swinging to the swing suit, it, like the touch of a button, and then once you're finished with your uh, wing suit, you can you know start swinging again. Seamless, totally seamless. Mm -hmm. And incorporating it into how you're traveling across the city is just perfectly done. Once you're in the swing suit, you can find wind tunnel, uh, the wing suit, <laughs> the swing suit. <laughs> once you're in the wing too. suit, you can you can find wind tunnels and like fly through um, uh, the wind and through like yeah, um, pocket uh, light, yeah, pockets yeah. of air and thermals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and it, and mm. it just pushes you forward at such a f high speed. The fact that the game is dealing with you doing that, you know, it's loading up the buildings. It seems like there's no juddering. There's no problem with like, flying at like a ridiculous amount of speed. It's crazy that this yeah, game buttery. can handle that. We should probably talk about the graphics options while we're here. here. Have we'll get you, to that yet. Have you seen... But you know, like the fast travel transitions as the well. The fast travel transition oh, is amazing. disgusting. Yeah. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's <laughs> so insane. Like, so, right. When I was playing this game, I thought, what does this remind me of? It reminds me of Forza Horizon. Because you remember what I, when I said, what I say about Forza Horizon is I play that game and go, this is a piss take. This is so far ahead mm -hmm. of the games that try to do this thing. That and it's so seamless, like as if ah, it's not an issue. You want to do that? Yeah, it's fine. Let's do that, right? This is what Spider-Man Two is. Mm -hmm. So if you once you do enough missions and side missions in a particular area, it then lets you fast travel there. And when I first loaded it up, I was like, where does it let me fast travel to? Like, where are the nodes that I need to mm -hmm. go to so I can fast travel? It doesn't. You've got a cursor. You point to wherever you want in that that place you press the fast travel button in the map the it zooms into that part of the map and you're swinging no, yeah. exactly yeah. where you selected it looks Amazing. so cool honestly it's, it's like <laughs> unbelievable like mm. it's so fucking cool mm. that it like i don't want to use fast travel because i really enjoy getting mm -hmm. about the city mm. But every now and then I do it just to see that transition because it's usually, so incredibly impressive. Yeah, I usually do it like if if it's something which is literally like right on the other side of the map, I do it, and then it's just yeah. it just looks so good. Yeah, like the sort it's, of the, the camera swinging in, and then just like yeah. And you're like, but this is any I can do this anywhere. Mm. Like I I can just pick that I've picked that, and in a like a millisecond, I'm now in I'm at that bit, mm. and it's the same with um when you're switching. What's hilarious is like. The only other open world game where you're properly switching between characters if it was GTA five, right? And mm -hmm. that was a long time ago and it was on mm -hmm. different hardware. So I'm not dissing GTA five. Yeah, yeah. It shows you how far we've come. Because even now, if you play GTA five on on your current consoles, it still does that doo, 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 yeah, little bit of a load. Doo, 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 doo. And then you, here you go, right, I want to be miles now. Boom. Miles is like, hey, how you doing? Right, let's go. <laughs> or you'll go to a mission area, which is designed for Miles and not Peter, and it says, do you want to switch now? Yep. And it's like, literally like that. Miles swings in. Hey, oh, right, I'm here now. It's like, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable with that stuff. It's so impressive. Mm. Have you done, you know, like when you're doing like random crimes, you know, like, you know, Stopping people doing random yeah, stopping crimes. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about to say, I think have you done a different th game? Have you had like um, like Miles turn up as well when that's when you're doing that? Because that's no, pretty cool. I've not. No, no, it's great because you're like you know you'll be you know stopping I don't know like a you know a mugging or something like that is going on and then like he yeah he he comes in as well and like you know does all the fighting and then afterwards you can go up to him and press like triangle button. And like the first time I did it, I went up to him, pressed it, and they they did that Spider Man thing, you know, like the meme. You have them pointing yeah, at the each meme, other. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, that's awesome. yeah. I I um I, I will say this right. Just a couple of things that I just have to get off my chest. Mm. Um, one being about those random crimes that that crop up. There was a t there was a point where I did about five of them in a row. And then I passed one, just going, okay, I just want to go to a mission now. And it went, there's an assault in pro in progress. And I was just like, nah, forget it. I want to go to the <laughs> mission. I was like, that's a bit harsh. Also, I don't know if you picked up on this. So there's environmental missions, which were in the previous game, right, James? You know the environmental missions on the, like, where you've got to go and do the stuff with the bees and all that yes, sort of yeah, stuff? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, they had similar stuff in the, in the first game. Mm -hmm. um, what I like about that is that this is you, you've, you, there's a point where you get a job. Peter Parker gets a job in a lab, right? Mm -hmm. And they say, right, we've got all these environmental stations and we need you to do this. 
but they don't know he's Spider-Man, yet all of the environmental hubs are on rooftops. <laughs> I just thought, <laughs> hold on a minute. Uh, don't they go, well, how, how are you getting up there to these random rooftops? Like he's, he's just Peter. really dedicated, like going up all those <laughs> yeah. stairs, yeah. you know, yeah. just to get up there. Yeah, but you did one the other side of the fucking city just two minutes ago. How are you here <laughs> now? Um, but, 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 but yeah, no, I mean, that's just nonsense video game stuff, isn't it? I can't complain about that stuff too much. Um, you want to talk about graphical options well, because no, this is my is major negative about what they've done here. I was yeah, kind I mean, of it's like, definitely more complicated. So yeah, they've got and performance it mode, yeah. which is 60 frames and lower density crowds and lower density other things. <laughs> and they've got fidelity mode, which um, is 30 frames. But it's 4K and this and the other bit. And then there's also. So it's basically hundred... like the previous game had have three options, right? It had quality, performance, and performance RT. Mm-hmm. So it's like they've dropped performance. And basically, performance mode is performance ray tracing now. Mm-hmm. So there's only two so options. There's always in terms ray tracing. Graphics, ray tracing which is, is always fine. on. Right. Yeah, in all ray modes. tracing is always on. It's just there are different. Like I was watching the Digital Foundry thing, and it was like the difference between one of the differences between ray tracing in um, performance and ray, ray tracing in fidelity is that ray tracing in fidelity can do secondary reflections. So it's okay. doing a glass reflecting off a glass the mm. reflection that's on that glass, <laughs> and you want to go, who's noticing that? <laughs> Digital, <laughs> Foundry, yeah. from Digital Foundry. But anyway, Matt, yeah, so go on. So, yeah. but then it goes into more detail, right? Yeah. So you can also turn 120 hertz mode on, uh, which mm-hmm. I did, and uh, and then it's it, it goes down to 40 frames, um, and but it's but it looks amazing. And actually, I I, I felt Hang huge on, whoa, whoa. So what, what, on. what's 120 hertz mode if it's at 40 frames? So it's not. It's the variable ref- refresh rate mode. So if your right. if your TV can do variable ref- refresh mm-hmm. rate, mm-hmm. it can essentially do a higher frame count or mm-hmm. appear to do a higher frame count. Mm-hmm. So it, it's thirty frames, mm-hmm. but it appears to be running at forty because I I, I mean that was my right. understanding. I'm not, but but that's what these TVs can do. So we've both got mm-hmm. the the LG TVs that have that. No, but isn't right? the, the whole point of variable refresh yeah, rate is that the TV yeah. can change its refresh rate depending mm-hmm. on what the game's running at, so you don't get screen tearing. That's all variable refresh rate does. No, I don't. It doesn't, think it doesn't it make is. a lower refresh rate look faster. No, 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 no. There, there is. I, I, look, I can't tell you the FPS. options. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't will... tell you the options. Uh, uh, like I can't go yeah. into details of this, but Digital okay. Foundry mm-hmm. did, and they okay. said that, that if you've got this VRR mode on your telly and you've mm-hmm. got it, um, and you select it in the game, mm-hmm. it's forty frames rather than thirty frames. Right. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Because yeah, because a normal telly would only norm like normally do like thirty, fifty, or sixty. Right. Hertz. Okay. So yeah, okay, normal right, telly right. couldn't so do. They're doing the bit in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Gotcha. I tried that because I heard no the way to do it is fidelity and then have VRR on, and oh, I'm sorry it's not oh, the way is that to do the way it. To do it, I've been doing performance and that, and it's been so like so fast it's really blown my head off. I yeah, heard that's it was what like I've been doing. Yeah. Plus 120 hertz was the was the thing with VRR on. Yeah, that's but what, what I've been doing. I've been doing performance and 120. It's so fast. It was like almost felt weird. So yeah. Yeah, it's great. It looks so smooth when you've mm. got. It. That's what I've got it on basically. Mm. I just did, yeah. yeah, I had to have that on. Oh, sorry, I feel saying the best one's fidelity in that. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. That's really? that's what people say. Well, that's what the people are saying. And roll muck. And I just went in there and went, no. Oh, well, <laughs> no, I, I tried that at the beginning of the game. I was like, okay, I'm going to try fidelity and see what it's like, you know. And then I, I, you know, there's that opening scene where you're like, sw- you're obviously swinging through, you know, through buildings. I did that about five or six times because I was just like, same no, here. I just that's can't why I do don't this. like it. That's why I don't like it. That's why I'm putting it down as a negative. Mm-hmm. Like I want, I want the game to go like what it had before with the three options was perfect. Don't go into that much stuff. Like it really does my nothing. Like surely the game can do, or the console can detect whether you've plugged it into a, a TV well, it does. that can handle. Yeah, but you still no, got settings and like because my like, TV have doesn't have hertz panel and stuff. My TV doesn't have like VRR, so I can't even use that anyway. So it's what well, just... it's off in the menu, is it? Yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's not, like grayed out or whatever. Yeah, it's right. it's not because it because it's like that on my yeah like in the in the PlayStation setup like you know it's just not there so it's uh, yeah yeah and 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 the moment I played it on performance mode and then knocked it down to fidelity in terms of frame rate I was like this is so noticeable to me now that I can't yeah I don't want to play it like this it's so. funny as well because I used to I used to be like ah you get used to thirty stop whining but I don't anymore yeah no like I, I I, I, like, like Starfield I was like 
after hours of it, I was like, no, this is like whenever you just fucking turn at any sort of speed, I was like, oh, it's horrible. Especially, <laughs> I mean, I feel especially for this though as well because mm. everything is like about speed and like, yeah, and especially you know, like the combat through. as well, like yeah, the it's... precision of it. Like, yeah, 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 I can see 30 frames being a real issue. Yeah, if it, it felt you... different and felt, yeah, it looks. I mean, I, I could often if you turn 120 hertz mode on in other games, it's really grubby visuals, but mm. this looks fantastic. Really, really good. Yeah, I mean, the, the city speed. is so dense, so incredibly dense. There's yeah, but so to, much to be clear, once again, I don't understand what this 120 hertz business is. It's no, no way is it running at 120 frames. So why is it 120 hertz mode? I don't understand. Why is I it called? I don't think that? it's called 120 hertz mode. But that's bizarre. It's called that, is it? You know, it's definitely yeah. called 120 hertz mode. In, okay. in the settings, is it really? Yeah. yeah. I think I, they might know more than you, Sean. I think the developers of the game. I'm just saying. Okay, though. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, sorry. So what? So what's what? Do you think 120 hertz? Means? I don't know. I got a fucking clue about it. It this means shit. it refreshes 120 times a second. It right. So you can get 120 fps frame rate, which it clearly isn't running. I just don't understand why it's called that. It just seems odd. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I really well, don't see about know next week. that much it's always about called that, though, isn't it? and stuff. <laughs> it's always called that. People are always like, oh, it's you know, it's, the TV's got 120 hertz. So, so no, of course the TV can call it that because yeah. it allows it to do frame rates up to 120 frames a second. But you're mm -hmm. saying this runs right. at 40. I just don't understand why it's called, why they're calling it 120 hertz mode. Yeah, I don't know. But I I didn't think it was called that, though, Okay, um, right. James. It, it, it says, I like, thought it was called VRR mode. Okay. That makes yeah, more like sense. Yeah, like basically utilize yeah. 120 hertz mo refresh mode of a compatible display to reduce mm. input latency and therefore enable higher frame rates. And that's why it oh, takes it from 30 so the, to 40. Right, so the game, yeah, so visually it's running at 40 frames, but the, yeah, like the... Input the, lags the less. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, well, that, I guess that makes sense. It's yeah. so confusing though, and that's... Mm pretty much my point like mm. I, the reason why i love um playing console games and um, the reason why i don't think i would enjoy a, a steam deck is that mm. i will fuck around with these settings and when um when uh, i played ratchet and clank and when i played miles morales i was like that's the setting i want bump done mm -hmm. whereas on this one i was changing so many settings in those opening like half in that opening half an hour mm -hmm. and redoing bits and just saying is this different isn't that different it's so frustrating <laughs> like i mean i, I hate I having that you want to get a slightly i just said it and forget it like everyone said put it on this mode and i did and it's yeah feels great mm -hmm. right david do you want to get a slightly worse tv and then this is not a problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah those options are taken yeah. away but it looks stunning right the game mm. looks absolutely incredible it looks really does stunning, I, yeah. I mean yeah moles morales looked good enough uh this looks just unbelievable in places um mm. i've seen complaints about some of the models i don't know I, I you know i don't think they're going for ultra realism when it comes to faces and uh character models i think there is a style to it um uh Can and I... it sticks to it it works have they changed the face of Peter Parker? Yeah, they did, they did that yeah. when the... No, not, well, well, not no, since the remaster. He does look slightly remaster. different. He, he looks older, basically. I mean, he looks yeah, like, he looks look like George Michael from Arrested Development at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I think he looks more like Michael Sarah. <laughs> well, they changed um, him yeah. in... in was, it, I can't, was it in Miles Morales or was it just in the PS5 version? Yeah, it's a regular PS5 yeah. one that they updated. But, like... Yeah. Like he looks so much like Tom Holland in. Mm. There's a couple of scenes where I'm like, if I was Tom yep. Holland, I'm like, come on, you're taking a piss. Here. You've, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are there, times where he looks exactly like him. Early, yeah. early, yeah. early on, where it's like a flashback, he's wearing glasses. Right, that's a spoiler. Mm. And it, it mm. looks so much like Tom Holland. I'll be like, yep. come on, yeah, legally, yeah. where do it we really stand? Does. This is yeah. <laughs> wild. Yeah. Uh, the game's full of like mini games. Like there's non-stop mini games in it. It's oh, crazy. Really? Uh, yeah, there's like um. It, like a mini game, like it's so when you're hacking, there's a hacking mini game, there's a, mm -hmm. a DNA mini game when it comes to it's not DNA, what is it? It's trying to get the right, uh, what do they call it, molecules or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's um, there's a mini game where you have to hold the triggers in a, the right position, both of the triggers in different positions in the right way. Mm -hmm. There's uh, there's a rhythm action bit, I don't think that's a spoiler to say, but there's a yeah. rhythm action section. Um, and I'm just like, wow, this is properly trying to keep me on my toes, like to stop me from getting bored. Like it's going, here's something new. Here's something that you're doing differently. And 
I think that's the reason why I just cannot put it down because I just I'm thinking what's around the corner what am I doing next okay I'll do this for a bit and see where this goes I do think yeah. also the use of haptics in this is really good and 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 relentless as well like it's continuously going <laughs> off but in the in like in often subtle ways but in good ways i think it's i think it's really well implemented to the point where it doesn't it's not a, it's not something which sort of gets in the way at all it's just a nice addition i feel you know to the whole thing. yeah um what i will say is that there are a certain type of gamer that will not like this game i think if you played um spider-man and didn't like it because you don't like that style of game, you will not like this. There's, it, it is an improvement, but only if you are already a fan of this type of game. And what I mean so, by yeah. that I genuinely is, can't imagine someone not enjoying these. Though. No, I get that, but <laughs> then I also get the argument. So it really reminds me of, do you remember when the new Tomb Raider, when Tomb Raider rebooted? Hmm. And what they'd done is they'd taken a game that was very mechanical, and very puzzle based and you know mm. and they made it more playable they mm. made it more accessible right mm -hmm. um you were no longer positioning lara at the right square to make the jump there were times mm. where lara would jump and sort of warp towards the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah um the opening to this you can't really go off the beat and try like you're pressing mm -hmm. forward with your swings and the camera forces you to go in a certain right, direction yeah, right yeah. There are people that get so irritated with that shit. You know, there's mm. um uh uh when at some point there's a treasure hunt mm -hmm. with clues. Go here. It's like a, a riddle, and you read the riddle, and Miles goes, "Hey, that's the bridge over by Brooklyn. Maybe <laughs> I should head over there." And then a waypoint points you to where you need to go next. Right. right? Yeah. There are people that will get so pissed off with that that if that sounds like you'd be one of those people, then do not play this game. Because this game is that. Like, there are major missions that hold your hand throughout. There are linear moments in this game. There's stuff, as I said, yeah, with with um, with um with puzzles that are not intended for you to work out. They're just for miles to tell you where to go next. Yeah. Um, so I understand that, like I do. I'm not one of those people. I fucking, I don't care, right? I don't care about it. Holding uh, holding my hand to get through a, 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 an insanely good looking uh, action sequence is fine by me because I'm getting the benefit of being blown away by how insanely intricate everything is, like how insanely um, spectacular it is visually, um, and it needs to hold my hand to direct me through this. Mm. Um, so I think it's important to say when it comes to recommending this game, there are there is a certain type of gamer that's like, I'm not even playing this. And yeah, there are moments like that. QTEs, really, in 2023. <laughs> yeah, there are QTEs in this, Wait, like, see, in I, 2023. Just to muddy the waters. I would say I am one of those people, but I fucking love the other two. Right. Um, but this I just feel like it's done well enough in these games that I don't really mind. So Yeah, because this is what's so, what I'm enjoying about it so much, is that it feels... It's almost relaxing to play in the sense that there's yeah. like no friction at all. No, you know, like no. whatever you're going to do, which is brilliant. And I'm really enjoying that. Mm. It's a bit, you know, it's, uh, it's I'm great. looking forward to the story as well. I'm looking forward mm. to where, seeing where the story goes because obviously it's hinting at a lot of stuff. Because where and, are you? Because um, in terms of, I mean, you know, because we saw in the the footage that was in the last, you know, that, that big state of play, obviously we saw that Peter had the, the Venom symbiote. So is that happening right. to you guys yet? No, that's oh, no. what's right. so that's, crazy. I had a feeling that'd so, be quite far in. But yeah, so it takes lovely. it takes a good five or six hours before you even see a hint of that. Right. And even then, I'm sitting here going, I've got no idea how Peter ends up with it. <laughs> because we know he does. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But the story is like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like The story is yeah. like saying to me, nah, don't worry mm. about it. And mm. there's even a whole skill tree to the left hand side that has right. question marks all over yeah, it. Yeah, has unlocked okay. it. Yeah. Sure. Amazing. But how does is this gonna mm. happen? So that's gonna be interesting to see how they no, handle I that. I mean the the uh, the cutscenes and the set pieces are absolutely incredible. It re I mean it really does feel like you're kind of almost like playing a Marvel movie. Like some bits are spe and the, the opening one's one. spectacular, but every one you go through you like you, you know you, you're gonna play it, you're gonna like do you know have like the cool combat scenes yourself but then just being part of it just feels so spectacular it's so well have done, you it's done so exciting have you done the black cat 
chase yet. No, not yet. Matt, that was fuck great. me. Yeah, that was really good. It's a joke that bit. Yeah. It's a yeah. joke. I, I mean, I've, I don't I've, want to I've say done anything. Tanker one and some other bits, but yeah. Very How good. much do you care about spoilers, um, Sean? Uh, no, no, not much. Oh, good. I'm going to send you. This some is videos. relatively early on, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, Yo, not, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. But I, it's. I don't. I don't want to even say what it's. Yeah, it's fucking incredible. It's <laughs> so good that bit. Like really impressive, and you're like, you promised this years ago, and it didn't deliver, and now you're delivering it. Like that's yeah. what got me. I was mm. like, holy shit, this actually works. Mm. I'll send you a video of it, um, Sean. Cool. It's mind blowing. It's so good. What a game. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm to just, play I'm just enjoying kind of being just giving myself to it. I, I haven't kind of fallen into a game properly for so for well, it feels like ages really. But um, just loading up and seeing all the various things to collect, and you know, I got obsessed in the first one of doing you know catching all the pigeons or or whatever it was, or the all the you know the the doves that were released. I think in in 2018. Spider-Man. No, it's pigeons. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. Oh, yeah. I just want to do all that. I just want to do all that again and just be you know hook line sinker. And yeah, I, I, every aspect of this game is exciting me, so I can't wait to play more. I've um, funny, I have one hundred percented both Spy- Marvel Spider Man and Miles Morales, and mm. I will one hundred percent this. Like, there's mm. no doubt about that in my mind. I will play every everything this game has to offer. It's funny, like with Miles Morales, like I'm, I know I said I loved it at the time, but then sort of forgot about it, and now it's like. Now that the the weather's finally changing and stuff, it's like, oh yeah, last Christmas I played through Miles Morales, and I think it might be one of my nicest gaming memories. Oh like, yeah, it's just yeah, fucking so good. perfect. It's so, like, it's so good. good. So, um, the message of that game, and mm. yeah, it was set at Christmas as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a way to like try that console for the first time as well, man. Mm. Fuck. Okay. We're going to talk about Spider-Man more over the coming weeks. Um, we've talked it to death this week. So, uh, Sean, you've got a couple more games to go through before we, yeah. uh, before we get about, to the questions. Talking about things to death. Um, I finished Cyberpunk 2077 for the second time. So I've done... So I finished the Phantom Liberty DLC and then finished the main game again. Um, go on, James. Did you... Yeah, because, you see, I... See, I finished it obviously the, the first time around. Mm-hmm. This time around, because the DLC allows you to have different endings. Yes. I took that different ending, yeah. which was really interesting. Yeah. Did you do that, <laughs> or did she? So you? I, I obviously we're gonna we're gonna be tiptoeing around spoilers because obviously there'll be people listening to this who, even if they finished the main game back in the day, they might not have finished the new DLC and they might not know what the new ending is. Um, and also there'll be people who. Like I'll, I'll now finally playing it for the first time and don't want to know about the original endings either. Um, so I think we we made I think we made different decisions in the DLC, mm-hmm. but arrived at the same point. Um, which, yeah, we'll talk about it afterwards. Um, and yeah, and then yeah, went for the the new ending just to to see it. Mm. Um, both of them like absolutely ruined me i was Mm. really surprised because i again i'm not going to get into specifics didn't like any of the endings to the original game um for there's yeah yeah they're all different but there's a commonality between them and i didn't like it Mm. um and yeah this the new ending is it's like on the one hand it's it's very different to all the mm. other endings. It's something something quite fundamentally different about it. Um, but in a way, like it's like it's kind of saying this is why the original endings were the way they were, but without being sort of mean spirited about it. It's sort of it's a, a brilliant ending that also actually kind of improves the other endings. Mm-hmm. Like it contextualizes oh, wow. them in a way that makes the other endings make more sense. Like, I'm now sort of retroactively happier with the ending I chose in my original playthrough. Mm-hmm. It's very hard to explain without spoiling. Um, but, yeah, I was really quite blown away. Like, the ending just to, to Phantom Liberty was incredible. Um, and then, yeah, the the way that then plays out in the, the main game, I just, yeah, I thought it was beautifully done. Mm-hmm. Um, and with a surprising amount of range, I thought, Yes, <laughs> I yeah, was not expecting yeah. to get to get that from it. Because yeah, there, there were bits where it's like 
oh, this is a bad ending. And it's like, no, no, actually, no, this is okay. And then, oh, no, it is kind of bad. Oh, but yeah. it's bad. And it's just, yeah. it's just really nuanced. And mm-hmm. there are, yeah, there are different ways of looking at it. And mm. some of it's good and some of it's bad. And yeah, I was really, really, really surprised and blown away by it. Um, good game. Took them, took them another three years, but fucking, they did it. Yeah. So, yeah they, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I was loving it. No, this is, it. this is it now, yeah. yeah. I was yeah, loving it up see. until um, I had to drop it. I will go back mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I was enjoying what I was playing a bit. Mm-hmm. I got, where did I get to? I did get my car back. That was oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I can now drive about and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, oh, yeah, and no, I sort of told you where I was up to last week, didn't I, with the Jimmy right, yeah, Silverhand yeah. scene and stuff. <laughs> but all good. Um, yeah, good game. Anything Very else? Very good game. Um, a few quick ones. Um, so I've been playing Fights in Tight Spaces, which I can't remember if I talked about this back in the day. It's been out for a little while, but there's some new DLC came out for it recently. Um, so this is the one that it's, uh, it's a roguelike deck builder. Sorry, James. Um, but you're a spy <laughs> and you're having fights with people in tight spaces. So it's like grid-based or turn-based combat. And it's all about, yeah, you've got a gang of thugs all trying to beat you up and you've got a range of cards with different moves on them. And it's all about playing around with like positioning and blocking. And there's like, there's this like momentum, uh, sorry, combo mechanic. So as you're doing moves, you build up your combo and then there'll be certain moves that allow you to like cash that in, right? So it's like, you'll punch someone for six damage, but plus three for every combo point you have. So it's like, you're trying to build up your combo as much as possible and then like get to the final guy and just fucking obliterate him. Um, mm. and in the base game, there's like there's there's like different decks to choose from. So there's like a balanced one. There's one that's based all around like grappling and and throws and stuff. There's one that's all about like defending and countering. Um, but yeah, basically this new DLC is um, you have a gun, um, and it's really nicely done because it's not just like oh well you you shoot people instead of punching them. It's like you go back and forth. So in the in the course of one fight, like when you like when you're looking at your your hand of cards in any given turn, you you either draw the gun or you don't, right? So you might punch a few people, then draw the gun, and then shoot some people, and then put it away again, and then get some more melee attack cards, and it creates this really cool flow between the two, um, and yeah, it's proper good fun. As I said, I, I've had the game for ages, but I never gave it a proper shake, and this has just been a really nice excuse to go back. Um, so yeah, properly enjoying playing that on the deck. Cool. Um, and yeah, the other one is I got a Meta Quest three. It arrived and made the weirdest first impression I think I've ever had from a piece of hardware. Okay. Because it just like it I kind of want yeah okay I kind of want this to breathe this segment though. No, that's my only problem. So do you want because what do you mean? I, like, I want to ask you loads of questions, but well, I realise that like, we're right we up against the time no, wise. <laughs> oh, look at Matt. He loves it. Extending <laughs> it out again. Um, Let's hear some first impressions and then we'll do a proper. Should we do a proper review next week? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that. So, Colin, what, what was your first impressions once getting out of the box then? So, getting out of the box, and I was like, oh, this definitely isn't any lighter. That's clearly clearly the same weight as the Quest 2. I don't want to get that wrong on the show. Um, <laughs> but it's weird, right? Because cause I had the Quest 2 for so long and used it enough that I got a nicer strap for it and I got some you know, prescription lenses and stuff so I didn't have to wear my glasses while I was playing with it. Um, and I knew those weren't going to work on the new one, right? But it doesn't stop you thinking like, oh, well, this is nicer, but also there are two quite key elements of it that are worse right yeah the straps okay that it comes with it's just mm, not as nice that's... as <laughs> yeah. I, I hate it do you hate yeah like, I, you I, hate i'm it, getting but... used to it but it's just I... cheap and it just ruins mm. the i mean for, for mm. a company that wants this to go mainstream mm-hmm. to give people that and people have mm-hmm. that experience with it it's just like mm-hmm. ruins it whereas mm. if you get a good strap mm-hmm. then it totally changes how mm. long you can play it the comfort yeah, yeah. The enjoyment yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just like Jesus Christ. Is this what it's gonna feel like? No, I mean mm-hmm. everyone should ditch that if you can afford it and get you know mm-hmm. a better strap, basically VR yeah. cover or like yeah, yeah, the yeah. also the M3 Pro is one out mm-hmm. or the you know lots of people are getting. So um, it mm-hmm. just sucks as an experience, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely like yeah, like 
like I say, yeah, so there's there's two elements right there. There's like, well, this feels like a climb down from the previous one, right? Um, and again, like I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, it's got different lenses in it. That's why my old ones don't fit. But then it's not like you put it on and you think, oh, fair play, this is why there's different lenses in it. Like, kind of, look, I mean, it's, it's a high resolution, right? But other than that, I'm not like, oh, fuck, it's like completely filling my field of vision. Like, you can still right, see right. the fucking goggles. You can, like, the, the yeah, seal around yeah. the bottom is still bullshit. You can still, like, see underneath it. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, like, so I, I turned it on for the first time and it was like, okay, open the app and scan this QR code with the pass through cameras. The pass through cameras are really impressive. Mm. I've quite, like, surprisingly useful. Like, I've, it's not a good experience, but there's a couple of times where, like, I've used my phone whilst wearing the headset right you can read a text now yeah just about you get a headache if you do it for more than a few minutes but but again just for (laughs) the occasional like reply to a message or whatever i didn't have to take the headset off um but yeah it's like oh yeah scan this qr code i was like okay open the app finally like trying to find the add a new headset bit and it's like okay which headset have you got is it the pro the two the one or the riff and i was like where's the fucking the where's the three i've got the i've got where's the new one (laughs) googled it i had to like fucking clear the cache for the app so that it would realize that the quest 3 is a thing again it's not a big deal but i was just like what the fuck is going on (laughs) it's just a rubbish experience got it set up and logged in and then it's just like all right which of your old games do you want to install clicked a few of them and it's like right this is there you go it's the same operating system as the last one (laughs) Yeah, that's all, Which, it was like we're getting getting the um, Xbox Series X, and it was yeah. like, hey, oh, I turn it on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, same thing. It's it's just <laughs> yes, funny, isn't it? Because thing. it's clearly a different view on what like a new piece of gaming kit should feel like, right? Like we're still, I mean, you know, Xbox Series S and X, notwithstanding, we're still used to that. Like, fuck, it's a new generation of hardware. I'm going to boot it up and just be like, oh man, this is all completely different. And yeah, yeah. And it's like, nope, it's. It's a, it's an upgrade, but it's basically the, the same thing. Yeah, I think that's a missed um, opportunity because even when you get like a new mm. iPhone or new Android, mm. there, there's often that's often when they also update the OS. So mm. it's like a yeah. you know, whereas they didn't kind of do that with this. I feel like that's yeah, a, like the, the general look opportunity and they could have it. done that as well. So even yeah. if you had your yeah. Quest two, you still have an upgrade. And when you get Quest three, it's like, oh shit, mm. new OS as well. And mm-hmm. so yeah, so it's just like right. Well, I've, in, I've installed Walkabout Mini Golf, and <laughs> that that looks nice. Um, I, th- I think I just expected it. Reality stuff, Sorry. though. Well, I was going to, yeah. So, because I think I was expecting to like log in and like the first time you use it for it to be like, right, have a quick look around your room. We're going to scan it. We're going to show you something cool. But it just doesn't do any of that, right? You've got to go out of your way to find that stuff. And there's, you know, there's, as they always do, there's always like, you know, whenever there's a new headset, there'll be like an app that's like, here's like a little like playroom, a little sort of toy experience thing to sort of yeah. get you used to it and there was like there was a hand tracking one and now that yeah so now there's one for the yeah the, the room scanning stuff and yeah the, if there's so eventually once i found that and i scanned my living room and the, yeah there's this game where there's these like aliens trying to smash into your your room um and then as you're shooting them you're like blasting away at the walls of your own house and there's this like alien planet outside and you're like fair oh, dude cool. this is fucking cool this is really yeah cool. that sounds um, good but yeah, but part of me is like, ah, this 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 is going to end up just being another walkabout mini golf machine. <laughs> like... Right, right, right. Which I mean, is kind know. of time, what was time will tell, putting but... me off buying a new one because yeah. uh, you know I, I was so set on getting the new one because the old mm. ones like 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 a mess. Mm. But uh, yeah, five hundred and fifty quid or five four hundred and fifty yeah, quid. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, to to play the games that I've been playing. Mm-hmm. Isn't there that seems... other cheaper one coming or something? That was a rumor. That was wasn't a rumor. It? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to going to do one bit. that's like a three light, but without yeah. any controllers. Right. <laughs> yeah. No Hang controllers. On, how does that work? Well, because it's the, got hand you'll tracking. Buy, you'll buy controllers. Well, yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah it's, it's got hand tracking, but realistically, you're going to want some controllers. The hand yeah, tracking yeah. is super impressive, but it's just if you're playing any game where you're supposed to be like holding something with a fucking gun or a sword or whatever. Yeah, it's not tactile enough. It's Yeah, it just feels weird. Um, so, yeah, I can't... And the controllers are like, if you want, if you, like at the moment, if you want to buy both controllers standalone, how much? It's like 120 quid for both or something? 120, yeah. yeah. Both. 
Yeah. So, mm, so not not much for saving on that. No. But <laughs> what I don't want to happen is for us to just move on because we've shortened this section because of the length of the show. So we will come back to the Meta Quest three next week. Yeah, absolutely. Have yeah. a proper full impression yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, and that's what we've been playing this week. So should we do some questions and then go yes. home? Conky Donker says, oh, sorry, yeah, if you want to send us a question, you go to tcgs.co forward slash dear tcgs. Conky Donker says, you are visiting the co-host's house whose name comes next alphabetically. You see and Ooh. grab a wonder flower in their house. What insane thing happens there? Uh, James, so mine would be James Farley. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so you're first, David, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's my, what would happen if I had a wonder flower? Well, James, it fucking smile. It put some effort in. Uh, it turn up once in a while. <laughs> That's what would happen. We would go. What's Wacky. going on? This is madness. It's wild. It's like yeah. being on drugs. It wouldn't fart into a microphone. <laughs> like, there's all sorts of crazy shit hours. it got up to. I think. Um, so, so that's so what where would happen. Do I go? Because I'm last. Do I circle back to Dave? Yeah. Yes. I guess yeah, I, I guess you would. I was hoping so... I'd get Matt, so I was going to say all those lights on his walls would start wiggling round and <laughs> <laughs> Joe, look, exploding behind him. So James, <laughs> you're next. You're Matt. What, well, I, was gonna, I mean, I was going to go with that, or also like the whole thing just turns into like a giant skateboard park. You know, it's like <laughs> everything is like skateboarding. Yeah, I think it'd be brilliant. Yeah. Snowboarding now, isn't it? Oh yeah, snowboarding. Yeah, snowboarding yeah. now, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just snowboarding down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And going cowabunga, dude. I went to an indoor slope last week and I wasn't sick once. So oh, nice. I think that's right. growth. Well done, man. It's yeah. personal growth. Yeah. Uh, Matt, well, what mine, would happen when you got Sean's? I just imagined that uh, I would I would grab... I was going to say I'll take the Wonder Pool. No, I'd grab the Wonder Flower and uh, the whole house <laughs> would just turn into like, pots and pans. I just had a kind of like, you know, like a Bell's Kitchen like world, essentially. It's just where me the, you know, appearing. The, the, the stairs pans. were pans. And like the that level in Psychonauts 2. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> With the, whole, the whole in the middle. house was that, basically. Pans <laughs> going up and down. The stairs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, go on then, Sean. You can rip. You can lamp... What do they call it? Lampoon, Lampoon. me? Lampoon. Can, I don't know. I don't you can know. roast I, David. The, it's got to be something football related, right? Maybe maybe the entire Millwall squad just comes charging through the room. I fucking and love that so much. Tramples I can't fucking... even tell you how much I love that. The whole squad. <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> like oh, no, Sean's not dead. The whole squad sliding in. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Not hurt me. I thought you'd love that. <laughs> no. Um, they'd be my friends as I say, oh, do you want to be mates? That's not we wacky. We can have a kick about. It doesn't need to be wacky. It just needs to be a nice time for me. It's a wonder flower. <laughs> <laughs> it's not red letter day. Not all of them are that wacky. Uh, okay. Should do one more. Uh, from yes. You're doing them all, Sean. Did you see that? I, I, I watched the, you know, it come up on TikTok the other day. Mm. But you know, the, like the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Mm. What was, the, the, there was like a sketch. I didn't realise it was a sketch because it was so well done. Where the kid from the make got his wish, and his wish was to have a thousand wishes. So they began, and there was a representative from the Make a Wish Foundation going, "Yeah, I mean, yeah, we are going bankrupt. We can't do anything. We are, we're done as a business now. But what can you do? We've committed to making a wish, That's and he found a loophole. It was so good. <laughs> My God, sorry." Maria Mendieta says, Dear TCGS Quest Givers, Ian Lee pointed towards the possibilities of VR transforming everyday spaces into in-game battlefields or crime scenes, as in the case of Home Detective. <laughs> While I already have a hard time finding anything in my slovenly room as it is, where do you personally see the Quest 3's pass-through capabilities being put to great use? Keep up the unparalleled work. Sincerely, Maria. Oh, I've always thought, eventually, obviously this is not for the Quest 3, it's not going to be good enough, but eventually... We're just not gonna have TVs anymore. TVs would be gone, right? You reckon that that's gonna puts happen? The, puts the goggles on. Yeah, you you got your glasses same. on and you look over and there's a fucking massive screen in your room. Like that's yeah. that's the future, isn't it? Eventually. And yeah. how weird Eventually. is that gonna be? How weird is that gonna be? Like walking into someone's house and there's like no screens, like even at work and stuff. Yeah. It'd be like um heavy rain. Everyone would be sitting there with their glasses, with their fancy glasses. <laughs> great, great glasses. Yeah, yeah with your great glasses. Great, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole family be 
it'd be quite dystopian, but the whole family could be sat in the living room looking at whatever, and they're all watching different TVs, hearing different things. Because like, um, do you remember that no they TV? tried that with 3D TVs with those glasses where you could play split, split screen game where yeah, yeah, yeah. two people On sitting next TV, to each yeah. other's got yeah. the full screen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so weird. Great idea. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it yeah, because uh, yeah, everyone like, headaches. That that's the the fear, isn't it? As you say, it's like because it, it's it's nice to think, oh well, everyone can like everyone in the family can like be in a fucking cinema in their own house or whatever. Whereas actually, but as you say, the reality is they'll all be looking at the same space but watching different stuff. Well, and just, sometimes you walk into even the... more isolating. Well, like, no, no, because yeah. no, because the avatars will be next to each other, uh, but <laughs> you'll be watching different things on the screen. <laughs> The um uh yeah we've already got that to some extent. Sometimes in our front room we're all on our phones watching different things while Charlie's on his pad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's dreadful. It's bad, isn't it? They're the I days mean, where you look at each other though, going, "I'm not even are... being a parent." But then, like you were saying, like your experience of like yeah, you're all playing doing different stuff, but you're talking about it, right? It's not just yeah. like oh well, you don't fucking exist because I'm playing Spider Man, you're playing Mario. It's like you, no, it's no, still no, kind of a shared. Yeah. Things. So I think there are, there are ways yeah. of doing it that aren't bad. You know what I mean? Sort of, but I did have headphones on. <laughs> um... <laughs> In case there's any swearing. Been a good no, it was because I was they were playing annoying YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> Do you also just keep saying don't don't look at me uh, while I'm doing yeah, this? Yeah. yeah. In terms of yeah. um, great features, though, if mm. you could potentially scan, I, don't know, I thought you're... you were going to go. In terms of great features, though, have you seen my arms? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you oh, yeah. Have a look at my um, arms. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. That yeah, I mean, if you could scan like your keys or your phone, whatever, and then you put yeah, put pass through mode on, you press a button, it kind of instantly gives like an outline of the Fucking thing. Fucking hell! I'd pay so How much money so for good, that. It? Yeah, yeah. Like, just okay, to look around and go, bang, it's there. I can see. Yeah. I can see. It's like it goes, through, you know, through bang. furniture, through. Did it have to do it that high pitched? <laughs> yeah, bang. Yeah, I mean, you can put it on mute if you want, but I want to have sounds on. Like and then, um, yeah. yeah, you see an outline of it, like it's an enemy in the game. Finding stuff. Love that. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Changing That'd the light cool. like, when you're in a room and just going, what color should we paint this wall? Well, yeah. let's just yeah. have a look. Mm. All of that. Lovely old job. It's it's annoying it's because it's yet another. You know, we talked before about how like with VR, there's so much emphasis on horror stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah, in terms of the the pass through scanning living room whatever stuff, it's like oh yeah, the potential horrible. for horror is amazing because yeah. you could have a horror game where you just you wear it and it takes like twenty minutes before anything even happens. But you're just in your living room and then suddenly something's like slightly off and you're like oh, whoa that the fuck? scares the what shit is... out of me. <laughs> yeah, I, would I hate thought it, about that. It's... <laughs> what was it? I thought about that, but like I'm surprised there's not a VR game where there probably is actually, mm. where you are sitting and playing a game on a TV in a front room, mm. and then for ages, you know, for half an hour, and then something crawls out behind the TV on the actual. It doesn't even need to be passed through. It's yeah, just yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I hate that idea. Yeah. I hate it. Or like, or the game turns off, and you, you know. Well, I mean, no, you said this last week, didn't you? So there's like a reflection of something, and then you look around, it's not there. And I'm like, Fuck. Uh. They've done. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. played. A, I've, what was it? I played on VR that was like that, where it's like, but it's all so obvious. Like I was sitting there, I was like, okay, so I'm expecting I turn around, and he's gonna be there. No, yeah. but that's just because you're go. hard as fucking nails, James. <laughs> that would kill yeah, that, me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 In more ways than one. James. <laughs> Do you ever play Switchback on PSVR two? Which one the, was that? I the you know, so the, the ghost train uh, until dawn dead. No, no, I've not played that. No, because that's one we use eye tracking where like you come up to a bit with those mannequins and if you close your eyes and we open them, they're 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 closer, they're closer, they're closer, they're closer <laughs> to the game. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Sean, um, yeah. Aspire Two has got a mixed reality update. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you've got Aspire Two, but it's on Quest, on Quest Three and stuff. A mixed reality update where you basically play the game but in your house. Now, if you could like. Okay stream that game as well so i assume if you do it on obs it will see like the pass through you yeah, can yeah, essentially yeah. play metal gear solid in your room that would be an incredible stream <laughs> um yeah, yeah i'll have a look quite interesting okay uh we that is that it for this that week? is it mate then we should get to the socials matt murray oh yeah it's me um no stream of thursday um unfortunately but on friday mm. uh as james has written here hopefully the end of star trek you're not enjoying it then james it's all right. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's, it's much longer than I was expecting it to be. And there's do long you, parts of the do, do you wish you hadn't committed to streaming it? Is that yes, the, yeah. I do. <laughs> I wish I'd just played it on my own now. 
and yeah. it's uh, yeah, it's just going on. It's one of those things where now I'm just thinking maybe I should just finish this offline because mm. I don't think anyone's getting anything out. What of this if anymore. you're that close to the end? You <laughs> can't you can't do that. I mean, I know <laughs> I've mentioned this like multiple times in the group, and everyone's ignored me every time. But James, how have you not bought or played or streamed the King Kong game? That looks right up your street. <laughs> because it's, isn't it like fifty quid? I That's think the, it's, it's expensive, expensive. <laughs> and also, I mean, I was reading a review today of that, and they were just like, it's not even like so bad, it's funny, it's yeah, just it's rubbish. Just and yeah. just, yeah, not I watched great, a clip so. on TikTok of like Dan Riker and some other people from Giant Bomb, I think, doing streams of it, and they were freaking out because like the, the graphics were like going in and out, and they were like, it was, they looked like they were on acid, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening in this game? And then like, let's go back, let's go back. And it didn't, anyway, um, it looks like it could be uh, lots of mileage. Anyway, Star Trek, James is streaming that Friday at 9 on twitch.tv slash tcgsco. If you miss it live, you can go to our YouTube channel, search tcgs on YouTube, you can watch the VODs of Sh uh, Sean's or James or any of our streams. Um, uh, on Sunday, we're actually recording the pod because... A week today, in fact, right now, is the Independent Podcast Awards, and you better believe us for a lot for an award. So next week, we're going to record the pod on Sunday night, not Monday night, because Monday we're busy losing an award. Um, uh, if you go to Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, connect your Amazon account with a Twitch account, you have something called Twitch Prime Gaming. You get one free sub every single month for that. Why not go over to our channel and give us your sub? We really appreciate it. We're on patreon.com slash TCGS. Support what we do over there. Listen to monthly, exclusive monthly bonus podcast. We're going to do uh, the Patreon video stream this week, I think Wednesday night. Uh, there'll be a message out to patrons in the next day uh, with information on how to watch that live. And the website is tcgs.co for everything else, like our gorgeous Discord community, store, podcast, socials, you name it. What's James? What's matter, James? Sorry, I just saw in the chat somebody mentioned that woman on the on the helicopter. And it, just, <laughs> it just made me laughing and thinking about it. The woman that was being rescued by a helicopter then spun around really, really fast. Oh, they should I'll do a VR impressed, experience. Actually. They should do a VR I'm experience impressed. where you're like, the woman in the thing. Mm. Yes, and then James does it, and he's like, "It's not funny anymore. It's no laughing matter." Yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, vrspinnywoman.com. Let's let's get there. Um, yeah, I've got another request. We never asked yeah. for this, but uh, if you haven't already, please leave us a review on iTunes or Spotify because it, you know, it, it really helps. But we haven't. Well, I haven't checked actually, admittedly, but we haven't asked for a while. So if you haven't left a review on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, actually, that's shutting down soon. But Spotify, <laughs> you name it, leave us a review. It really helps. The Independent Podcast Awards next week. Is anyone like, you know, I, I look, I don't know about who's going to win or whatever, but the fact that we're all going to be there and there's like, I, I've got views on award ceremonies, mm -hmm. but there's 450 people going to be in a room and they're going to hear our name at some point during the night and that suddenly when you don't think of the reality of that until you're in that room just going what are we oh, going to do <laughs> alright I'm a little has bit has anyone thought about, about what they might say if we if we win I'm not uh, I'm yeah going to sound presumptuous yeah well sorry yeah it's a bit presumptuous you're going to speak yeah. um, I think the main <laughs> yeah, one I'm going to speak first and then gets the frames yeah, yeah, and then yeah, Sean and Dave yeah. if there's time <laughs> um we will catch you next week. We hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for living it. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. All right. Bye-bye.